Welcome, I'm Didier Fraser, <clears throat> and today we're going to be so... Uh, bleh. That's a good start. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel. Uh, normally I race in race room, I racing, Automobilista 2 as well, and I tend to do online racing. Because, well, I race with a number of leagues. I race with Oz and Did Sim Racing, I race with North America Race Room, uh, Gravel Trap Legends, there's heaps, heaps of people that I um, race online with. Now I realise for the majority of sim racers out there, you don't have leagues to race with, you don't race online, you don't you don't have that social aspect of it. So what does that leave you with? That leaves you with offline racing and AI racing. And there are lots of options out there in terms of AI racing across all different kinds of sims. I did recently release a video about iRacing's AI and I thought it's absolutely fantastic in terms of like racing against them um, and project cards too used to have a fantastic well it still does but 
we, we talk about it in the past sense because well, it's 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 a bit older now and Boss Mobilista 2 is kind of taking that throne. But it has a fantastic career mode where you can progress through the ranks. Race Room has got custom championships. There's all sorts out there. A set of course, so there's endless mods to just tie things together. R Factor 2 has got all kinds of offline systems going, results generators, not results generators, results analyzers, and all that kind of stuff. But basically, what I'm trying to say is there's lots of options out there for people who can't race online. But that doesn't mean there isn't any room for new options. Specifically, Racing Life for Automobilist 2. This is a brand new app that's been released by Ricardo Pombero. Apologies if I pronounce your name wrong. Please feel free to correct me on Discord and I will correct myself in the stream. Um, but basically what Racing Life does is... It takes the standalone races and even championship mode in Automobilist 2. And it gives it a bit more context. So basically, you plug your results into Racing Life. And you earn money based... Not real money, of course. Like in-game currency based on your performances and with that money you can buy and lease new cars which allows you to then participate in new championships and progress your way up the ranks now obviously you start out in go-karts gt5s all the basics basically and the aim of the game is to basically work your way up to world endurance championship formula one and the top of the ranks and this is all done independently by this app. This doesn't connect to Automobilista 2, from what I understand. It doesn't read your results out of the game. You do have to go manually input them, but it it sounds awesome. It basically gives some context. So it's so easy to fire up Automobilista 2 and have a great experience to have a great race, especially with the, with the VR graphics. Uh, and I will be doing all of my races in VR today. And um, it, it, it's great, but sometimes you want a little bit more than that standalone experience. You know, as much as a good race can be, you know, super enjoyable and, you know, it sticks with you for years. You know, you talk about it with all these sim racing mates. Yo, know, this, this wet to dry to wet race against the Porsche Cups and, you know, I fought back from the back of the grid to come third or whatever, and el whatever else, you know. It's great, but sometimes you want a, you want a bit more narrative and hopefully this is what this does. So... Without any further ado, let me switch it over to the Racing Life page. With that button right there on the screen. There we go. We're up on the screen right now. So this is the app, and it is available on Race Department. There is a link in the video description to download this. As you can see, it is a brand new install. And um, <laughs> can I recap from the hello and welcome, Jimmy the Bear? Um, well, if I just chat nonsense for five minutes, hopefully that'll give you a chance to rewind and catch up. <laughs> Um, but no, this is the app, and as you can see, this is a brand new install. I haven't done anything to it. Uh, this is version 1.2, straight off Race Department, installed maybe half an hour ago before stream. I did have a look around version 1.1, but I didn't actually use it. I had a basic look to see how it all, you know, how it all works. So it's a standalone app that you install, and this is the page that you're greeted with on on opening it. So let's start a new career. So Let's have a name. Obviously, I'm going to run my name, unless I can get some better suggestions in chat in the next 20 seconds. Uh, <laughs> and, oh, okay, backstory. What does this mean? I guess this uh, sets up my starting conditions for my career. So, I uh, currently am sim racer, which gives me, I'm presuming that is racing life dollars, 5,000. Could be American. Could be Australian. Just dollars, I guess. Uh, we've got Amateur Racer, which is... Fifth okay, okay, that gives you a bit more money. And gives me more fame. I'm not quite sure how fame works yet. So I'll have to see how that goes. Now, Known Racer gives me a lot of money. Okay, so this is basically affecting my starting conditions and how easy it is for me to, uh, you know, get up and running. Yeah, <laughs> made up name. Ma made up Nem is the name. <laughs> Senior Senior Binnington the Third. Schooly McSchool. Faniel Dinny. I'll, I'll, these are some pretty good suggestions. Bulk <laughs> Bulk broken. <laughs> Sounds like some kind of digestive aid punch of waterfall. I like that. Uh, gentleman racer. Wow. Okay, lots of uh, lots of cash, but not as much fame as the known racer. Okay. Right. I'm going to go with Sim Racer because that is, uh, 
I'm going to go with Sim Racer because that's that's good. It's, it's just what we do, and it, it also makes it the hardest starting conditions because you know I've got five thousand dollars and no fame, so I'm basically starting from scratch. I'm basically the Jimmy Broadbent going into this world of professional known races, starting from absolute zero. Okay. VR hits. I don't know what that means, Olaf. <laughs> Lumax for Hamilton. Oh, there's so many good suggestions, I don't know. I don't know. I did get a good chuckle out of Bulk Brogan. It has absolutely no connection to anything that I've done before, uh, or my channel, or anything. But you know, I like it that much, I'm gonna go with Bulk Brogan. I don't know why. I don't know what... The Mazepin of Automobilista 2, yes. Yes, that's the one. Bulk Brogan. I, I don't know why that amused me so much. Okay, right, now that we settled on that, let's have a look at the Automobilista 2 folder, which has popped up a new window, so obviously you can't see my directories, which is good. Yep, that's right, that's configured correctly. DLC tracks configuration. I d <laughs> Aiden. <laughs> I'm not going to say that one out loud, because I'll get red flagged and YouTube will shut me down immediately. I've only just got my chat working again, alright, mate? I'm, I'm not going to risk it for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've already I've already decided on Bulk Brogan, but I mean these suggestions are, are fantastic, so keep them coming. All right, so this is the DLC that I own. I I do own all of the DLC for Automobilista 2 uh, because I purchased the is it the Backers Edition, uh, the most expensive one before it was initially released, like the pre pre release, you know. So uh, I, I I own all the DLC. For, I think season pass for another year. I think. Anyway, right, that's it, and obviously there's the user manual, usual manual, like the user manual, which also opens up a separate window, I'm not going to go through that on stream right now, um, but I'm sure that Ricardo's done a fantastic job on that. Okay, well that's it, let's start racing life, let's get into it. Okay, so here is, yeah, <laughs> Liam Murray. <sighs> Amazing, amazing, <laughs> Liam. Bulk Brogan. Um... Okay, Jasper, nobody knows if the season passes for this year, the next, or the coming 10 years. Well, I hope it's for the next 10 years, because Automobilista 2 is definitely going in the right direction. Right, this is the main screen. So we've got the dashboard here, which is where I am, uh, with a nice picture of Kimi Raikkonen. I do like that picture. I hope you have the rights to use that picture. <laughs> um, no fame, no experience, $5,000. Zero races, but obviously I've got no statistics here. I've got no sponsor. Okay, so you can get sponsors in racing life. So let's let's have a look at the options first. So, okay, that's... Cheat mode. No. No, 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 no. No. Okay, right, well, dashboard. Competition. Okay, so... This looks like... Ah, I see, I see. So... There's a yearly schedule. There's a yearly schedule of races. So, all the races in January. Uh, if I click on this... Obviously, that's GT3. Uh, I need 300... Well, $24,000 to register. Now, I've only got $5,000, so I won't be doing that. I also need 35 driver fame, so that's not going to happen. These ones are all at zero. So, the kart clubs... Apart from carts not being super in AMS2, um, I'm not too sure I'm going to do that because there's no prize money, no registration fee. So it's basically Copa Classic and Copa Uno. Copa Uno is the front wheel drive, um, basically, shoeboxes. And that has got a lower registration fee but lower prize. I think I'm probably going to go for Copa Classic. I'm not too familiar with those cars. I'm not too familiar with... Um, with that, with that class, but this is the good thing about it. It forces you into cars and tracks that you're not familiar with. So, if I click on that... Okay, I can't register. There's a button down here that says register. That would normally, I guess, sign me up for the championship. Uh, details... Okay, so there is the money that you will win, depending on your championship position. Or is it each race position? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, that's the schedule as well. Round 1, Adelaide, Cleveland, Curitiba, Kansai. Setup, right? Okay. This is cool. Okay, so this gives you the rounds of the championship. So it gives you the AI number, the number of laps, and the track that you're going to be racing at. 
Now, I just want to stress this. This doesn't automatically load it into Automobilista 2 for you. You have to set the events up yourself. So, these, I guess, are suggestions. The weather is completely up to you. The AI difficulty is completely up to you. Uh, you can configure the races how you want. These are just, you know, this is what track and what car you're going to be racing at. So, this isn't like you sign up for the championship and that is 100% locked in. You can run less laps. You can run more laps if you want. You can run less or more AI. Uh, you can run a different variant of the track. But to be honest, why would you do that? Obviously, Ricardo's put a lot of thought into each stage of the championship. So, you know, you want to you you do it as is. So that is how that works. Okay, so that's how that screen works. <clears throat> this seems all pretty straightforward so far. It would be awesome if it did connect to Automobilist 2 and did it for you, but obviously that is going to be modifying the game itself and integrating with the game itself, and I imagine that would be quite difficult to do. Uh, this is a companion app. So this is merely just a, you know, you load this up and you plug the results in and you put the race into AMS2. It's all, all separate, but it gives you that guidance to give it some more narrative. Okay, so that's competition. Uh, garage. <clears throat> well, that makes sense. That's empty. <laughs> $5,000 and no cars in the garage. So that is, that is what we've got. Hey, Ripper, welcome to the stream. Das. Yep. Car dealership is then. And the might, oh, actually, Ricardo says there might be other cups starting in the year. Starting later in the year. Okay. Interesting. Uh, which class am I thinking of doing for 5k? Uh, well, basically January. I'm thinking of signing up for the Copa Classic. Copa Uno. I'm not sure. We'll see. But Copa Classic. I think I know those cars. Right, so let's have a look then. Finances. This is going to be where we start, because at the moment I can register, but I don't have a car. I'm going to need a Copa Classic car, so let's have a look at finances. Right. So, cash at the end of the month. Okay, so this is where you keep hold of all of your monies. You can see how much you're earning and how much you're losing. Let's go to the bank. Okay, so now we can get a loan. Interesting. So if we wanted to get more money, we can basically... Oh, this is getting very grown up and very serious now. Change that. Okay, so we can get a loan for 10,000. I can't change that amount. I don't know if that's meant to be like that, but I'm clicking on that. I can't lower that amount. So that's 10,000. Oh, do I type it in? No, it doesn't let me change it. Nope, $10,000. Uh, minimum loan, but I can't go higher than that. So, if you want to get a loan at the start, it looks like $10,000 is the amount that you can get. Um, what about taxes and write-offs and such? Olaf. Oh, I'm not sure, but I'm planning on any, un, you know, repair bills, which there may be. I'm going to put them on the catering expenses. <laughs> Right then, so it, it doesn't let me... Do I... Can I reduce that? No, it doesn't let me reduce it either. Right then, duration. So this basically tells me how long I've got the loan for. So if I've got the loan for three months, then I have to pay back 3600 a month. Whereas if I take two years, I only have to pay 625 a month, but it does... Okay, so it's 11,000 instead of 50... So the interest does... Wow, yeah, the interest does rack up very quick... Excuse me, very quickly towards the end. So that's that's how the loans work. I'm not going to take a loan just yet. I don't want to commit and sell my soul to the bank. Uh, so let's go back and let's have a look at sponsors. Well, that makes sense. I haven't done anything. I haven't got any sponsor offers received. So I'm gonna have to do some. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some races, get some fame, and people are gonna have to go. Ooh, I might sponsor that DDF guy. Let's see. Okay, so that's the finances tab. Let's have a look at the car dealer tab. Last, but got to bin it for some sponsors. Yes, das. Yes, rapid bins like bins, but I'm sure the better I drive and the better I perform here in Automobilist 2 is probably gonna probably gonna help out. <laughs> Live on servo pies. Trillium, that, that, that is a good way of life. 
Although it might make the car a little bit heavy by the end of the season. <laughs> Rapid Bins ended the sponsorship then. Oh, I mean, it, it, in terms of these championships, OLF Rapid Bins is probably not the best sponsor to have. It would be a conflict of interest. Right then. Oh, this is... Okay, this is pretty sneaky. I've got $5,000 on, on the Sim Racer starting option, and it costs $5,000 to buy a cart. However, you can race in the championship for zero, but there's zero prize money as well. So basically, you can buy a cart and just go and do that business, and that's it. So I, I don't like the sounds of that. I got super carts. That's 16. Okay, Formula V's. You're looking at um, 16 and a half, 17 and a half. Okay, your Formula Threes. So you're looking at 105,000, 109,000. Formula One, two million. That's going to take a little bit of time to get that. All right, GTEs are about 400,000. Your GT5s. GT5s are quite cheap, actually, 20,000. GT4s, 100,000, 104. Oh, the Merc, that's quite expensive compared to the Ginetta. GT3s, 400,000, 399. Your G40s, P4s, you can see all the cars. Now you got your LMP style cars. Copa Classic B Class, 12,000, 15,000. Copa Classic B Class, you got. Oh, here we go, FL. Copa Classic FL. This is what we're after. These are the cars that I want to get hold of at the start of the championship. So, okay, here they are. Here's the four to choose from. So I've got the Volkswagen Golf. I've got the Volkswagen Passat, the Puma GTB, and the Volkswagen Fusca. What do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon? We're going to have to pick a car out of these FL classes. Is it Copa Classic FL? It's Copa Classic FL or B, and the registration is a thousand. So I'm definitely going to have to get a loan. I'm definitely going to have to get a loan. Um, let's go back to the car dealer and have a look at the FL. Copa Classic B. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe a B car. Maybe go for the B car. Uh, I could also lease it. I'll have a look at the leasing in a second once I. Yeah. Yeah, let's, maybe let's lease a car instead. And we'll see what the price options for that are. You guys are recommending the Beetle. Okay, so we've got... That's the B-Class. and the So these must be multi-class races. Got B-Class. There's a lot of B-Class cars there. Puma GTEs. Fiat Unos. Mini Coopers. Volkswagen Golf. Volkswagen Passat. Puma, Puma GTB. Alright, so Das is voting for the Puma... <laughs> OS, take a small loan of a million dollars and enter GTE. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do that. The maximum loan I can get is 10,000. So we've got Puma, we got Puma, Volkswagen with the wing, Fusca, Puma. Uh, so many options. We got three for Puma GTB. For, oh, M Michael with the Volkswagen Passat. Okay. I mean,. The Volkswagen Passat and the Volkswagen Fisker have both got pretty big wangs on them. I don't know. But then the Puma GTB has got a few votes as well. In terms of price, the Fusca is definitely the cheapest car. Is that indicative of its performance? The Puma is rear-wheel drive. Sold. <laughs> Sold. Rear wheel drive is my kind of thing. Thank you, Trilbo. Alright, so it's 11350 to buy. How does the leasing work? Well, let's have a look at the details first. Oh, this loads up. Oh, that's cool. When you click on the details on the car, it loads up the unofficial cars of AMS2 website, which obviously you can't see here. Let's load it up on my browser. All right then, so that doesn't, okay, you can't see that. Anyway, let's have a look at the uh, leasing on the Puma GTB. So. I can basically make a one-time payment and then it's 340 per month. It's not orange. I'm sure there'll be an orange one in, in the game, Jimmy the Bear. We'll see. Okay, so, right. 
I'm going to go with this Puma GTB for the FL to start things off. So, can you explain, Ricardo, how this leasing works? Basically, do I... Or, no, sorry, how, how prize money works. So, if I go to the competition here, right, and look at the FL class, there's a registration of a thousand and there's a prize of 12,500. Is that prize per round? Or is that for the championship? Excuse me. So basically, if I win a race, I get 12,500. Or, if I win the championship, I get 12,500. Okay, so prize is per championship, not per race. And I don't get any money until the championship is finished? In, f in February, right? There's no prize per race until I get sponsored. Oh, that's cool. Okay, right then. So, I'm going to have to do races in January. Two races. I'm going to have to do Adelaide and Cleveland. Let me just turn that music down in the background a bit. I've run out of songs. Normally I don't speak for this long at the start of the stream. It's gone into songs with vocals. That's no good. Let me just sort my playlist out. There we go. Right then. So this is going to be two months of racing, basically. So when I take this lease out, I'm going to have to think of two months worth of leasing, not just one. So let's go back down to the Puma. Where are we? Okay, Puma GTB leasing. Right, so I'm going to have to pay 795, and then I'm going to have to pay uh, 340, so 680. So I'm looking at like, you know, 1500-ish, plus a register. So I can, I can race in this series without taking out a loan. Basically. Yeah, I can race in this series without taking out a loan. Or, I can take out a loan and buy the car. Once I lease a car, is it mine forever? Or can I basically end the lease on it? Can I just say, okay, I don't want this car anymore? Because I, if, I, if I plan on doing a lot of races in the FL class, then it could be good to basically just buy it. Yeah, how much to hire an accountant? Okay, I can stop a lease at any time. So basically, I could do two races in the FL class, and then, boom, that's it. Let's have a look throughout the rest of the year and see how many FL races there are. Okay, so that's the FL class. So that doesn't register in January. I don't think there are any of the FL championships later in the year. So there's not really much point in buying it. Because I'm not going to use it again until next year. And I could use that money a lot more wisely at the start. I'm going to have a lot more money if I lease it. Okay, I'm going to lease it. Right. Decision made. So, okay, let, let's go to leasing. And I'm going to lease that car. Puma GTB, Copa Classic, FL. Boom, there we go. Go into the garage. Hey, Sticky! Uh, is that a one-race championship? Ah, okay, there we go. So, stop leasing. <laughs> Paul Kirkby. <laughs> that's that's a, a reasonable price, depending on how skilled your accountant is. Hey, hey, st hey Sticky. Hey, mate. <laughs> DDR. All right, so there we go. We got a car in the garage. We got competition to sign up for. Copa Classic FL. Register. Competition registration successful. That was a little pop-up window you didn't see there. Okay. Hey, Raphael, how are you going? Uh, any uh, damage will be enabled. I'm going to put damage on. Alright, let's start with Automobilista 2 in the background. Uh, Automobilista 2, Oculus mode, boom. Let's actually, let's get going, shall we? Let's actually get going to doing some racing. So that is how racing life works. I like the looks of it. I really, I actually really do like that. That's a nice, easy to use interface. It's all laid out. Very straightforward, very simple. Not many options at the start. Just basically get stuck in. Um, do I want to do any of these other championships? Well, I mean, I could probably do Copa Uno. We'll see. It's only 800 to register. And, uh... We'll see. I'm not too fond of those cars. 
I'm not too fond of those. Right then, so, switch over to Automobilist 2 mode. Let's have a look at this. Go, 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 okay. Right then, so let's... So apparently you can do single races or you can do championships. Now, I'm going to do a championship because then you can keep all of these together. Right, so... Edit championship. Vehicle classes. Uh, Copa... What is it? FL. Copa Classic FL. Done. I don't want Formula 3s in here. Let's get rid of Formula 3s. Okay, so select track. So we're going to have practice, we're going to have qualifying, we're going to have race one. So I want to keep it nice and short. I want to get through these pretty quickly. So I'm going to have 10 minute practice. Uh, I'm not going to have random weather. Can I have real weather? Is there a weather slots? Real weather. Okay, there we go. Boom. Real time. Time progression in real time. Real weather. Real historic weather. Default. So I'm basically just having whatever it is. Because if I do random, it could basically give me thunderstorms and then a dry track five minutes later. And it could really screw around with the settings. So I'm just going to basically do real. So whatever it is in real life, that's what we're doing. So 10 a.m. start time, 10 minute practice session. Save. Okay, qualifying. I'm going to have a five minute qualifying session. It's going to start at two in the afternoon. Real time, real weather. Let's just keep going. Race one. So what does it say? Right, let's have a look at racing life again. So let's have a look and see what the options are for racing life. It says 10 laps. So if I go back to Automobilista 2 and put 10 laps in. Uh, 10 laps. Actually, I'm going to go 10 minutes. Or fifth, should we go 15 minutes? What do you reckon? Should we have 10 or 15 minutes? For the races. So we've got 10 minute practice, 5 minute qualifying. Do you want a 10 or 15 minute race? Because I want to try and get through as many rounds as possible. Okay, so Sticky says 10, Trilbo says 10, Aldrink says 10, Jimmy the Bird says 15, Olaf says 10. Okay, Mike, it's an overwhelming vote for 10. I'm sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jimmy. Sorry, Macan. Yeah, 10. Let's, let's get to him. So, 10 minutes. We're not going to do an extra lap. Current date. Start time, 2 in the afternoon. Time progression is real. Weather is real. L live weather. Live. No live weather found. Hmm. Okay. Standing or rolling star. Let's do a standing start in these. Oh, Damo says 10 as well. Stephen Co says 10. All right, so let's do that. So we got 10 minutes. I think that's right. So 10 minute practice. Let's change the quality to start at 12 instead. 10 minutes, but reverse gear only. What does Automobilista 2 do if it doesn't find live or real weather? What does it do? Does it just keep it clear, I guess? Current live weather will be used in... Oh, okay. No live weather found. It just makes it up. It might default to clear. Okay, what I'm going to do then... Yeah, it says there's no dates available. Uh, ah, leave it. Change date to yesterday. Couldn't find real historic weather data for the practice time and date two days before race date. Okay. Uh, start time. It's not letting me change that now. Time progression. Weather slots. Real weather. No live weather found. Right. Okay. So, 10 minute practice. 5 minute qualifying, 10 minute race. Date. Uh, 
custom date. Let's just do it on that day, okay? Real historic. Okay, there we go. Right, I fixed the date. 23rd of August, 2020. Apparently, that's the date it wants to race on. Okay, cool. So, I don't know what I'm going to get. So, first track. Select track. How do I change the track? Select track. There we go. Okay, so, racing life. Let's have a look at what the first track is. So, the first track <laughs> is Adelaide. Right. So, we've got Adelaide. We've got Cleveland. We've got Curitiba, which I don't actually know. I don't really know Curitiba at all that well. Then Kansai West, which is basically Suzuka. So Adelaide. Right, round one, Adelaide. Let's do modern Adelaide. Okay, score, top 10, top 10 standard. Uh, we got stock car, Formula Ultimates. Can you have a custom? You can't have a custom point score. Let's just keep it top 10 standard. Pit stop refueling allowed? Yes. Full course yellows? No. Uh, how many AI does it recommend to have? 15. Okay. Let's reduce this down to 15 AI. Okay, right. Hopefully, fingers crossed. When I add a new round, it keeps all of the settings. Does it keep all of the settings? Yes, it does. Thank you. Thank you, Automobilista 2. I don't have to basically redo that all from scratch again. Okay, so 10 minute quali, uh, 10 minute practice, five minute quali. Real weather. We're good. So round two is Cleveland. Let's do it. Let's add a new round. Round three is Curitiba. Which one should we go for? That's the outer loop. Ooh, that looks fun. Or should we do the inner loop? That could be quite fun with the oval, uh, oval style. What do you guys reckon? Should we do it? Because it doesn't actually... Does it say? It just says Curitiba. Inner or outer? Uh, Michael says inner loop, please. Well, I mean, as someone who's never driven a Curitiba before... Uh, outer loop would certainly be easier. Uh, Jasper says the AI tend to be absolute derp on oval-like things, though, still. Okay. Um, well, I want to give the AI a best chance. You know, I'm racing against AI. I want them to be as good as possibly can. Uh, it would be funny. A 10-minute kind of semi-oval race. I mean, there's a braking zone here into to, uh, Stephen Co. Oh, is that what she said? Is that what you said, Stephen? Alright, I do like a good challenge, Marzi. Alright, let's do the inner loop then. Go on. Yeah, let's do the inner loop. Alright. It's a proper TCR track. We'll do that then. Um, and add a new round. The last round was Kansai West. So, Kansai, Kansai... Is that West? Oh, I like that layout. I do like that layout of Suzuka. That is fun. Okay, so there's our championship. There's our first championship. So let me just check practice quality race, practice quality race. Vehicle classes. Yep, we're good. Now, in Automobilist 2, because I don't really know what AI level I'm going to be racing at, is it possible to change the AI level throughout the championship? So, say for example, if I find out that Adelaide, that the AI are too weak for me, or too strong? Can I change it for round two, or am I locked in for the entire series? How does how does that work? Oh, I can change the AI. Do I really need a practice session? Quality might be enough for practice. Um... Yeah, actually, actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep the practice and quality sessions. Because then the practice is just like getting used to it as quality is like, okay, here we go. Right then, so let's save that. Selected vehicle, right. So we bought the Puma GTB. That is the car that we've leased through Racing Life. So you can see here, car garage, Puma GTB, AMS2, Puma GTB. That's what we're racing. So let's select the livery. 
Now, that's kind of the most orange there is. Failing that, I might drive that one. Because it's like speedy might yellow. Yeah, it's, it's not orange enough, is it? I was thinking the same sticky. If it's going to be orange for, for myself, it needs to be like... It needs to be like... It needs to be bright orange. Like neon orange. So I'm going to go for the yellow one. Sp speedy might, okay. And if it all goes wrong, we can blame yellow. <laughs> Right. Okay. So, let's start. Race distance scale. Oh, okay, that's sneaky. Race distance scale... ...is... ...set down to 50. Right, there we go. Okay, we don't want to shorten it out. Uh, what do you reckon, guys? I am leasing the green livery, Michael, but unfortunately there's only one livery to select from in, uh, in, um, thingo, in racing, racing life. Uh, okay. I don't know what level to do the AA on. Have I got some, have I got some AMS to experts? Put the AI at 150 slash 110. Wow, that sounds pretty high. What's it go up to? That's 120. <laughs> you guys want to see me suffer. The AI is all over the place per track, so... Alright, let's... let's uh, okay. Alright, so... Michael says between 100 and 510. Torrin says between 100 and 105. And Aldrich says start on 100, change that. I'm not wimping out. I'm not wimping out. But I do think that starting on 100 seems like the right thing to do. Because when you push things past 100, um, it kind of gives them speed in strange areas. You know, to push them beyond what they think is normal. So maybe start at 100. Because don't forget, I'm not really that familiar with Automobilista 2, you know. Not really that familiar. So, AI, yeah, Olaf says that AI gets weird over 100. So, I'm going to start on 100. And, uh, 200% damage is normal damage. Marty says 100. Do you know what? If, if I win, okay, how's this? How's this then? If I win a race, I have to knock it up 5%. But for every race I don't win, I have to knock it down 1%. How does that sound? Does that sound... Does that make it fun? Does that make it fun? What do you reckon? For every race I win, it goes up 5. For every race I don't win, it goes down 1. Okay. Do you <laughs> All right, then let's start at 100 then. Oh, per second I win by... Oh, come on, Jimmy, that's not fair. I'm going to keep it on max aggression, though, because, like, like, um... Who was it that said? Tobias. Was it Tobias that said, this is rookies? Right then. This is it. Let's start our championship in racing life. Thank you again, Ricardo, for providing the, uh... The app that you've seen on screen. So, this is the car we've got. This is the competition that we've got. This is the details. That's the prize money. So, if I win this championship, twelve and a half thousand dollars is going to go into my pocket. Which doesn't sound like a lot, because it probably isn't. But that should give me the opportunity to buy some more cards. Like, ideally... Let's just look look ahead. If I can get... Right. If I can get enough to... Formula Trainer is zero. Formula... Th Ooh. These, these championships are getting quite expensive. Hot Cars. Maybe Hot Cars is next. Or maybe if I do really well... I can get into a GT5 race. Or if... Okay, Formula... Formula V Championship in March. That's something to aim for. Anyway, let's get... get let's get on with this championship. V8 Supercar... I think there's the V8 Supercars in here. Let's have a look. Is the V8 Supercars in here? I don't... Think so. I can't see it. Formula... No, I can't see... Yeah, I'm already... Uh, this is this is great, though, Jimmy the Bear. I'm already plotting my career, but... 
th this is great. This this is kind of making me think. Okay, what races do I want to do? What what races do I want to take part in? And how can I get some money to buy some more cards without having to go like that to the bank? Right. I think it's yeah. T definitely time to go racing. So automobilist the two mode, Copa Classics, Adelaide. Ten minute practice, five minute qualifying, ten minute race. Let's do this. Oh! Oh, Automobilix have crashed on me! Bug splat. A problem has caused your program to close. Oh! After all that, right, okay, hopefully it saved my championship. Automobilix the 2 doesn't take too long to start up again. <laughs> Big F. Oh, did it update in the background or something? Maybe they took it down for an update, I'm not sure. Let's get started again anyway. Oh, oh. Yes! Nice win, mate! F <laughs> <laughs> Ripper 253, just simply put, F. <laughs> uh, how much for a new gearbox? We all know I'm going to murder a few. Uh, that was a loss. Minus five difficult... Uh, it doesn't work like that. that was a false start. That was basically me missing my flight to Adelaide. That's what that was. So let's go championship. Yes, it saved it. Okay, we're still here, and it's saved all the details. 100, 105 max. Cool, let's go. That is one of the things I like about AMS2. It does load pretty quickly. Yeah, I hope the Puma's going to be flying as well. Here, let me pause that music in the background, and let's get the heads on. And pray for chat. Chat is still working here. I'm going to give it a refresh just in case. Just make sure I'm up to date. And obviously, guys, don't forget, you can vote on whether I'm going to bin it or not in the race. Oh, the opponent's skill is at 105. Ah, uh, left it at 105. Okay. Right. Thanks. Thanks, Jimmy. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, there we go. Right. Let's try that again. I'm interested to see what the export feature is like. Um, actually, do you know what? This, this isn't going to have a single-seater style wheel, is it? This is going to be a big, chunky, old-school style steering wheel with manual shifter, right? Four-speed H pattern, yes. Oh no, it's raining! It's pouring down! And it's very loud in the background as well. Ah! <laughs> this is... This is what rain's gonna do. Okay, well, practice is running. So let's swap out the steering wheel for something more true to life. There we go. Hey, good thing it ain't stung. Let's give this a go. my VR reset button. I need a VR reset button because this ain't in the right spot right now. Actually. That's because I've got my steering wheel on that one. So options, controls, uh, edit assignments, camera and view, center VR headset, boom. That's already request but okay, that's request pit stop. Can I use that one? Okay, it's that one. Right. That's one of the things I would like in Automobilista 2 is different configurations for assignments so you can load up a different profile for different wheels. Right. Let's try that again, shall we? Right. The car position's all out of whack as well. Sort that out. Right, here we go. Actually, my chat's off to the right as well. Push now. We've got cold tires. We need to get some heat into them. Right, one second, guys. We've got cold brakes. There we go. To be careful. The chat is now in the right positions. There are multiple profiles. 
Might have to set that up. So I've never driven this car and track combo before. So this is me driving this for the very first time and getting used to it, guys. I really got no idea what to expect here. Thing's only got four gears. Really not familiar with this car at all. Oh, big lock up there. <laughs> I think I know how this race is going to go already. These are Flamingo socks indeed, Jasper. Rain at 40%, heading up for the infamous turn 8. Break nice and early for this one. Big lockups there. We'll do ours, just... Uh, just getting used to the car and track, finding out oh, how it handles, where the limits are. <laughs> Thanks for the votes. <laughs> See how the votes are shifting in chat. So unanimously yes, almost. The leader has just done a 149.10. One forty nine from the leader. Just done it. One forty seven. One forty seven from the leader. Just done it. One forty seven point five five. Your attempt off the pace in sector one. Oh no, that's going to be wide. Is that going to be an invalidated lap? Nope, still counts. Tell you what, this is fun though. This is not a combination I would ever have picked. Adelaide in the wet in a Copa FL. Thank you, Racing Life, for introducing me to such an unusual combo. And I've actually got to do well, because I've basically got to pay the lease on this car. <laughs> See what I mean? This kind of app gives it context. I'm not just racing for the hell of it now. I'm like thinking in the back of my mind. All right, down. Okay. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. This, this has got ramifications how well this race goes. Bit of a puddle on the inside there. Bit of a lock up on the front, in it goes. You're locking your front right. Alright, let's send it towards the line. It's not going to be 147, but it's not going to be P9. too far off. I'm up into 9th. That's not a bad first lap, considering I absolutely butchered to turn 7. Oh, that's an invalidated lap. Cut the curbs too much. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Bulk Brogan? What's my name again? My career name? Bulk Brogan's infamous career starting AMS2 in the wet in Adelaide. Actually, this kind of makes sense for me. Because being based in Brisbane, Australia, it would make sense to start my racing career as a sim racer in Australia. So once again, completely unintentional, but thank you, Racing Life. Oh, look how much time I gained through that corner. Half a second. That put me in the top five. If the lap wasn't invalidated. Oh, ho, ho, bit of a trip through turn eight there. Really feel that through the force feedback in the wheel. Oh. 
shifted it into neutral there for some reason. Into the Pirelli advertisings. And, uh... Revisited the scene of my incident from that Got a tiny bit of body work damage there, just ignore it. race that I did with uh, North America race room. Oh, that didn't want to steer then. Okay, Dan, we're seeing lots of front locking. All right, let's try again. We got two minutes forty left in the session. Currently in ninth. Oh, that didn't sound good on the gearbox there. Don't use too much curb. Yep, lap's fine. Your brake temperatures look good. You've got cold front tyres. Sector 1 is 0 0.41 off the pace. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Definitely think the track is getting wetter. Uh, yes, Automobilista 2 does pull water on the track dynamically. It's got racing line as well, so the more you drive over a certain part of the track, the uh, yes. nice one, mate. the more it will be wetter in that area. Oh, so the more you drive over, the drier it will be. Thank you, Ricardo. Not only for the app, but for the continued membership. Sector 2 is 0.9 off the pace. Yeah, track's definitely getting wetter. Losing a bit of time here. Okay, now don't run it on the grass on the left like I did last lap. Kind of slide it round. Bit of wheel spin out the final corner, that is three tenths up. It's going to put me six on the grid. Session sector one is zero point four one off the pace. Sector two is not point nine. I lost a lot of time in the first sector last time round. Just don't think I was sending it hard enough. That's a wall on the right there. Big understeer. Use a bit of curb on the inside. Car's got good suspension. You can just absorb those bumps, eh? Bit of water on the apex there. That's going to push it wide. Sector 1 is 0.37 off the pace. Up on one exit, drift it out. Yeah, that's Stephen. Stephen Co. 100%. This is uh, definitely Olaf Rally style. Bit of drift in here. So there's more time to be gained just with a bit of confidence. One awesome combo. This feels great. I literally haven't seen another car on track. Is it a private? Is it a private session? I didn't think I set it as a private session. It's not a solo practice. I literally haven't seen a soul since I've left the pits. Oh, a bit of water on the inside. Straddle the curb to avoid it. Downshift it. Okay, well, the pace is kind of there. 48.7. So, I am 1.2 seconds off the pace. Jadson Rezende, currently in fastest after the practice session with Max Pinto. Yeah, these cars are real fun. So, sixth position in my first ever practice session in my career. So let's continue to qualifying. Let's see what the weather's going to be like. Is it raining? Oh, it's raining, but it's not as heavy. So let's go to the setup. Let's take some fuel out. I'm only going to get maybe like five laps in. So, I mean, these things don't really use that much fuel anyway, so... It is clear. Don't cross.
across the line. Okay, Dan, we've got four minutes to set a lap. Yeah, it's not raining as heavily. We well, need to get some heat into them. Not my head. Cold tires all round. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you very much, sir. So this is going to be interesting. See how much grip there is. See where my speed is compared to the other cars. They're definitely not by running wide all like right. that. I'm going to let that guy go. Still there. Clear, clear to the right. Yeah, max aggression with the AI in qualifying. Let's see how this goes. So rain is now down at 20%. And the track is significantly drier. Oh, this Puma pulls on the straight. This AI is defending. Right side. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Completely missed my braking point then. It's probably fine. Safe rejoin, yep. Give myself a bit of a gap to that car up ahead. Three minutes left in the session. and probably only going to get two laps in. So let's make these two laps count. So I'm going to go quiet for this one. I know this is an Automobilista 2 AI Championship. There's not really much at stake. But I really want to have a listen to what this car sounds like. Because I haven't had a proper listen yet. So headphones on. Volume up. Here we go. What's it going to be across the line? It's oh, it's pole! And the lap, that lap's been invalidated. This lap will be deleted. So that was a one shot for me. That was a one shot for me. Rookie claims pole in first ever race. You love to see the headlines. It does sound rather good, this, this Puma. Do you know what? Once again, how good are the graphics in Automobilist 2? This is one of the things that it is just... It's so good at, especially in VR. Like, I'm running this. In a VR headset. On decent settings. And streaming at the same time as well. And it still looks great. And runs so silky smooth. Right, let's break a bit earlier here, because I've outbreak myself twice. Oh, I don't know, Das. 
whether I want more or less rain in the race. Hard to say, because I kind of like the way this feels. I don't know whether, if it's dry, is it going to basically... Uh, is it going to grip up and be less slidey? I kind of like the slides a bit. I haven't driven on soft or hard tyres yet. All my running's been on wet tyres. With a 10 minute race, it should be fine. It shouldn't be a progression from wet to dry. Okay, so I don't think anybody has beaten my time there. No, that's pole position. Woo! <laughs> well, pole on my, on my first race here. And it's put me down as Brazilian. <laughs> Wipers off, weirdo. Actually, do I... Can I switch them off from the menu? No, it doesn't let me do that. Okay. Right then, well that... is uh, how the grid looks for your first race one. Taken pole with a 146.356. Half a second clear of Jadson Rezende. Got Abreu in third. Pinto, Yanelli, Dantas, Han, Yamerez. 16 people in today's race. The lowest time was uh, slowest time was actually 148.8. <laughs> Daniel Nino Finney. <laughs> I like that. Uh, dry race would be interesting. Maybe to slow you up relative to the AI too fast. Well, I thought that the AI in Automobilist 2 was um, better in the dry than well better in the wet than it was in the dry. So we got 10 minutes in this race. Let me do some quick maths. So we have a 10 minute race times by 60, which gives us 60, 600 seconds. Divide that by, say, one minute. Oh, it is, is it, dr no, it's still a bit wet. It's still a bit wet. Whoa, what tires do we go on? Let's have a look down the track. Mm, it's not raining, but the track is wet. Oh. Uh, say 1 minute 45, so that's 105, so we're, gonna, we're looking at roughly 6 laps, maybe 5 or 6 laps. So let me go back to the setup here. So actually that's good, I've got enough fuel, I'm just going to put enough fuel in for 6 and a bit, just in case. I mean an extra couple of litres of fuel isn't going to slow the car down too much. Uh, track wetness, where do I see track wetness? Oh, it, w it says wet, top left. Track wetness says wet, but it's not actually raining. <laughs> it's not actually raining. Oh, okay. Hey, Boggy! Hey, Boggy! Andy Turnbull says slicks, man up. Ah, uh, I don't know, what do you reckon, chat? Do I start on wet or dry? Because it says the track is wet, but it's not raining. However... It could dry out pretty quickly. It could dry out very quickly, but it's only a 10 minute race. There's no point making a pit stop. Storm wets. Uh, look at the track to look puddly. Yes, there are a few puddles on the track, not on the start grid, but in that little space in between the pit lane and the and the start grid. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Jimmy the Bird says slick slick life. Uh, Raphael says. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play it safe and I'm gonna go for wet. No restarts, no second chances, but I'm going to get a pit stop preset ready. So... Let's get rid of these. These are my pit stop presets from my uh, GT1 races. I don't need these. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a pit stop preset. <laughs> abort! Abort! Uh, fuel and tires, change tires, yes. I'm going to change them to slicks. I'm going to keep the pressures the same. I'm not going to put any fuel in. I'm going to turn damage repairs off. 
So what this means is if I do have to come in for dries, then I have a pit stop preset ready. I don't have to mess around with the menu setting. Right, okay. Race one, here we go. Race one, here we go. Wet tires on a drying track, 10 minute race, starting from pole, and my first ever race. Let's do this. And thank you so much for tuning in, by the way, guys. It is absolutely amazing to see so many of you here in the stream. Seriously, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I hope this is giving you a good idea of what racing life for Automobilist 2 is like. If you are enjoying the stream, don't forget to leave it a like. Say hi in chat. I'll try and keep up with your messages. And if you want to see more, maybe subscribe because if this goes well, I'll be doing this all again, same time again tomorrow. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. Anyway, enough shill. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much, people. Ten minutes. Okay, Dan. Be ready. Here we go. Let's go. A monster off the line by the front wheel drive cars. On your right. Still there. Yep, still need wipers. Three things in life are constant. Or what? Death taxes and horrible right. DDF starts. Rewind. Left side. Rewind. In the middle. Clear right. Left side. Still there. On your left. Clear all around. On your left. Clear left. Back up to third. On your right. Clear right. Wets don't feel too bad actually, but the leader's pulling a bit of a gap here. Oh no, Puma power into turn eight. Here we go. On your left. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Oh, maybe not. My little Volkswagen up ahead's got the legs on me. It's a bit slow in the braking zone in the apex there. Guy behind coming in hot as well. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> I've got lease payments to you. Pick up the pace. Oh, I'm trying, man. Oh. Yeah, this guy is very tentative into the braking zones. If I can pull alongside into the slower hairpins, I can get him. Leader's now three seconds up the road. Old Jadson or Rosende. Relax. Focus. Keep it smooth. P3. Big puddles there. On your way. He's just got to be brave in the brakes. He's not great in the brakes. Hold your line. Clear to the left. He's good in the corners though on the exits. A front wheel drive pulling him round. Right side. Clear Defend the right. inside. Up to second. There we go. Bit of the curb. That felt really nice in the force feedback then. Slid the rear out. Back of the car hit the curb. And I could feel it, like, dampening in the steering wheel. That was really nice. Gap ahead, 2.3 seconds. Really getting it up through turn 8 there. Gained up a stack of time on the leader then. Oh, big wiggle, hit the wall. Hopefully not too much damage from that. Can't remember what I've got the damage set to. Yeah, heavy braking this car is so good compared to the AI. Bit of a drying line. 
forming there. It's just done at 146, my take six. Well, I'll pop the wiper off for now, Das. Exactly what we came here for. V2, that was but there is still some standing water. You've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Through the first chicane here, which is kind of making it tricky. This first sector's still a little bit wet. Still a few raindrops on the, on the windshield there. Hunting back down for the lead of the race. Started on pole, made a terrible start. My first ever rookie race in, a, in, in AMS2 Racing Life. <laughs> Welcome back to the, to the chat, Russell. We got the run going, get to turn eight, peel of power. Clear left. Gonna be tight here though. They're gonna get the slingshot back, but I should have it. Right side. Hold oh, now line. all of a sudden you can break like a champ. Wow. Still there. Clear right. Nice move from the AI though. That was pleasantly surprising. That wasn't me like scripting this or holding back. I was like breaking where I normally break, and they just sent it up the inside. Okay, down halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. I'm talking to you, Russell. Left side. Welcome back from last night, mate. Oh, turned in on me there. there. I'm only going to put the car in a place it shouldn't really have been. Yeah, Russell, I still don't understand what you're in about yesterday about the race VR. Uh, no, nobody is. <laughs> right, standing water in turn one chicane. Here we go. Let's get this apex. Third place is closing in again. Yeah, Russell, I had, I had a Google for uh, race VR and nothing came up. So I don't know if the translation's wrong or something. I know it doesn't really make sense what you're asking me to look at yesterday. You should go onto my Discord and post a link, mate, and then we'll all know what you're talking about. Instead of uh, posting the same message like five times in a row. <laughs> anyway! Rep, got good acceleration here. Return A. Side by side. Still there. Still there. Keep it steady. Still there. Still there. Clear to the left. Push, push, push. We're in with a chance of winning this. Here we go. We're in the lead of the race with three minutes to go. What's the AI going to do? There's five cars within two seconds behind. It's a hell of a race. The track doesn't look like it's trying out too much. Tires aren't overheating like crazy just yet. He says as he goes full opposite lock in the final corner. I am on wet, so I'm going to try and find this part of the track that's not quite dry. You're now in the lead. We're currently setting the pace. You've just done a 146.01. All right, Dan, you've got half your fuel left. Yeah, I know, right, Andy? Wait for me to take the lead of the race and says I'm in with a chance. <laughs> it's like those people who vote no for the bin five seconds before the finish line when I've not binned it. The gap behind is now not protected. <laughs> I know who you are. Guy behind's not really dropping off too much. I've got to defend this lead. Those retires. Starting to get a bit toasty. Two minutes to go, two minutes. The car is definitely coming alive though. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this now. Definitely feel like I'm getting the hang of this. Because don't forget, I'd never driven with this car before this practice session. So it's a learning experience for me too. Is tailing into the court. 
I was going to say it's tailing into the corners very nicely as I take a chunk out of the concrete there. Right, last lap, 1.6 second lead over Jetson. One more lap for the win, come on. That's the fastest lap of the race. That last lap was at 144.22. Okay, Dan, we estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Yep, yeah, those rear tyres definitely starting to get a bit slidey. But I think it's going to hold out just enough. Wet tyres on a dry track, of course. Made the right call strategically. Thank you to those in chat who uh, suggested wets. Although now in hindsight, it would have been very interesting to see what the dry tyres would have been like here. Whether that would have made any difference. tight to the barrier there. Your right rear tyre is hot. Yeah, I think we just saved it, guys. Spotter telling me that the right rear is hot now, approaching the final corner. Nice and steady. And across the line. There we go. That's victory. Rookie Bulk Brogan wins well, his first win. race. You deserve that today. Copa FL. Pole position and the win. That is a great start to the championship. But now that means, of course, that um, the difficulty goes up. You know the rules when One we started start. this. If I win the race, it goes up 5%. If I don't win the race, it goes down 1%. So now we're jumping up from 100 to 105 for round two of the championship. Or what? Okay, let's skip the cooldown left. And uh, let's get back to the garage. Hold your line. Clear left. There we go. I think my chat may have died because the last message I've got is Andrew, T Andrew Turnbull with the uh, spotter. So let me catch up on those messages. <laughs> I'll drink. Everyone in chat wanted me dead on slicks. Well, that is true. That is true. And there's Lockie with the vote no right before the end of the race. There we go. Uh, Slicks will be coming on song at the end of the race. Looks way more natural unless slide in before. Might have to retry the game. Oh, Das, Automobilista 2 has come on leaps and bounds, mate. Leaps and bounds. <laughs> oh, I, mi I missed your messages, Jimmy and Liam. Checo, let Checo through. Box, box, box. Partially throws and... Oh, I can't believe I missed those messages. Uh, Mark P, how do I find my Fanatec shifter? It's so much better than the Logitech shifter. It is awesome. Um, and I love the sequential mode as well. You know, maybe if we drive uh, GT5s, I think I've got a sequential shifter, so I'll switch over to sequential mode for that. Anyway, I'm going to save that replay because I might want to take some screenshots from that race and post them on Discord. Anyway, let's continue. So that is round one. So now let's go back to racing life. And let's see how this side of things works. Because now I've got my results. Yeah, thanks for the reminder, Ricardo. Don't forget to log the results in Racing Life. So, stage one. So how do I do that? How do I log my results? So I've got dashboard, I've got competition. Copa Classic. Setup. Uh, how do I import my results now? Advance. So if I click advance, do I do I have to do stage two as well first? Because if I advance, do I have to put the results in for both? Or just the first one? How does that work? I can see the advance button in the, in the top right here. 
So if I press advance, that's only going to do stage one, right? Or do I have to put the results in for both? Because these are both in January. But just, just to clarify that, so let's click it and I will see. Oh, mysterious. Okay, then let's click it and let's have a look. So advance. Ah, oh, that's really cool. It doesn't let you put both results in. It only lets you. Ah, okay. All right, then let's let's put the results in. So let's put the re let's put the results in. So qualification result one, race result one. Championship result is still blank because obviously that's going to be at the end. Chisharam, <laughs> yeah, no, I like it. I like that, Ricardo. That's real good. So let's click on finish. Okay, so as a result of that, this little pop-up window that you can't see on the screen right now because it's it's in front of this window. It's not being captured. I have earned zero point nine fame, but zero sponsor money. So I've got one experience, got one race, one pole, one podium. That that's a nice little t statistic to have. I like that. I do like that. Um, actually, 0 0.9 fame. It must still be. It must be just showing it as zero instead of just 0 0.9. So I don't know if it's. If, does that not show decimal points, or is it just not registered properly? Anyway, Bolt Brogan. That is literally the perfect debut. So now let's go back to Automobilist 2. We've got our um, we've got our results in there. We've got the competition in. That's all good. You just show integer numbers there. It's registered. Okay, it's registered correctly. Nice. So finances. Okay, that's the money I've spent so far. The car dealership, the garage. Cool. Okay, well, there's not much more to do in racing life. Let's go back to Automobilist 2. And I believe... <laughs> I believe there ah, we might be progressing in the championship. So 25 points, that's a good start. Uh, wins, podiums, boom. I mean, it literally doesn't get better than that, does it? So let's continue. It's going to take us back to the main menu. I've got to have a buddy of your dad's with a landscaping business to get sponsored. <laughs> I like that. All right. Oh, Talonin, welcome to the stream. Good to see you, sir. Okay, so you know the rules. Every race that I win, the opponent's skill goes up five. Every race that I don't win, the opponent's skill goes down one. And this does continue between championships. Right, so 105. These cars at Cleveland. Right then. John Miller, welcome to the stream. Or hello if you've been here for a while and sorry for not seeing you so far. Underpants to you, good sir. Well, there's not much more to it. Let's just go straight into race two, shall we? I've completed race one. Um, yeah. Ten minute practice, five minute qualifying, ten minute race. What kind of weather have we got? This is real weather based on real results. Uh, real weather based on real data. Last time we had a wet practice semi-wet qualifying and a kind of drying-ish race. Wet tides were good enough to see us all the way through. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's raining again! We got some more rain. Obviously, Cleveland in the wet. Oh! Vaughn. Could it potentially snow? I mean, it does snow in Cleveland, but could it snow in Automobilist 2 and it'd be a snowy track? Okay, so wet tires it is then. Wetness is wet. It's very wet. Now I do know this track quite well having raced here recently in uh, Gravel Trap Legends GT1 series, so let's do this. I'm not sure if the weather's live. It's based on the date I chose, which I think is somewhere in August. Right. Oh, that does look quite heavy. Rain at 40% again. Let's get those wipers on. Let's get out on track.
Are the lights on? Yep, lights are on. Very long pit lane here. Thanks, Nolan! It takes it's clear. We need to get some heat into these brakes. Yeah, this and the McLaren Formula One don't have many things in common at all. Your tyres are cold, watch out. Oh, there's a lot of standing water there. Oh man, it's so difficult to see where the track goes. Because it's so f it's so flat and it's all grey. And it's misty. Wow, this is so hard to see where I'm going. Oh yeah, I got some huge puddles here at Cleveland. Why am I peering over the top? That's literally not gonna help. <laughs> First lap in this car track combo. Just take it nice and gingerly. Just getting used to it. Probably take these corners a lot faster, but I don't want to spear off the side of the track and find out the hard way that that's not possible. When you're learning a new car and track for the first time, it's always so much better to underplay it and build up. Because if you overplay it and damage the car, then you've got to come back to the pits and do another outlap and you don't learn the end of the track. Sit up in the seat more. Will do. Thanks, Andy. Good advice. Yeah, I think most of these corners are going to be third gear. It's a relatively quick lap here as well. I'm going to try this first corner, breaking at the five, heading down to second, spotting it there. That's a massive puddle, wow. There we go, that works as well. The leader has just done a 138.60. You're a tenth off in sector one. So don't forget the AI is now turned up to 105 compared to 100 from before. So this is at a high difficulty because I won the last round. This is round two of the championship, the Copa FL Championship. Here in Automobilista 2 as part of Racing Life. And again, this is a combo that I would never have thought of driving if it wasn't for this app. Two is and I genuinely want to try and do well so I can earn money and buy some cars. I want to progress. Like, I'm, I'm loving this car. I'm loving the fact that this is forcing me to drive things I wouldn't normally drive. But I think as sim racers, we get so caught up in our habits. You know, we've got our favourites, we've got our preferences. Same as our food. It's like, what are you going to have for dinner tonight? Oh, I'll have this. And you tend to gravitate towards the certain options. But when you go out to new restaurants, and when you... Oh, I'm going to try some new food today. It's like literally like three times the quick. best thing ever. Like, I remember the first time I tried Thai food. And I'd never tasted oh, lemongrass right. before, and I was like... Holy hell, this is amazing. This is like the best street ever. And if it wasn't for meeting my wife back in the day, I probably never would have even considered it. But she loves Thai food, and this... You know, am, am I comparing racing life to married life? I guess I am, I suppose. <laughs> Where has this train of thought led me? But y you know, you know what I'm trying to say, guys. Exactly, telling him the first time I tried a halal snack pack in Mulgrave, Victoria. Oh, oh. I didn't eat anything else for two days. And I would also like to uh, commend the plumbing services in uh, Mulgrave, Victoria, as well for for that. They did an excellent job of supporting my decision. <laughs> Exactly, Des. Nepalese. 
you got your momos, you know, your sweet chili beef momos, your, okay, now, ten minutes your shatak and your packed cell or whatever it's called, I can't remember the official name, but there was a little Tibetan restaurant in Manchester that me and my wife went to when we used to live there. And again, Racing Life just says, hey, why don't you try this? You might like it. Sectors 1 and 3 are good. Sector 2 is 1.7 seconds off the pace. Okay, I need to try and keep it tight here, avoid the puddle. Get the drive out, there we go. Look at that, it's four tenths up already. Of course, this is this is the practice session. Break at the three. Nice wide turn in here. I'm going to try and keep it nice and tight. Keep it to the right. Avoid the puddle there. Fine now way. turn in. Get the speed out. Okay. Your front tires are cold. Nice and smooth. There we go. Six tenths up. Break just after the three. Again, keep it nice and tight. You can use so much of the track here. It's so wide hit the water, that pushed me wide, and that's going to push me wide for this as well. Really should be getting the power down, starting to lose time now. Keep it in third, look for the cone. Nice wide turn in, nice and tight, there's a little dip, use that to turn the car around. Some puddles going across the track right now. Oh, I missed the apex as well, that's going to mean I'm putting the power down late. Just, just up over the wall. This is the second up, this is potentially going to be good enough for first in the session. I can get the five. It's probably a little bit too late. Oh, and around it goes. Track is clear. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Reverse it out the way. Get off the racing line. Oh, Marzi. That sounds fantastic, mate. Do you know what? I would love a beer right now. It's 20 to 10 in the evening here in Brisbane, Australia, where I am. I know most of you people watching are probably from Europe. Although, it looks like there's a fair contingent of Aussies and Kiwis in the chat right now, so... Love your work, thanks for tuning in. But yeah, all of you Europeans, hello. But it's definitely beer o'clock. That's half fuel. You've used half Maybe fuel. Maybe I'll get a beer between rounds two and three. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know how many races that I plan on doing today. I don't know how long I'm going to stream for. There's not really a set limit at the end of this. Excuse me. So I don't really know how long this stream's going to go for. Um, I guess until I've done enough races, eh? Hey? And Africa. <laughs> People from all over the world are tuning in. Oh, it's just missed the grass on the left there. Okay, now keep it nice and tight. I haven't done that last few times. Get the power down. There we go. Look at that delta. Your tight temps are looking good. So much time to be gained here just by being smooth. Ricardo wants me to do the entire FL Cup. I'm down with that. Wow, so much time. Well... Not my head. P2, check a flag, P2. Woo! Half a tenth off. Well, not pole position, it's just practice right now. So this doesn't really count. Thank you very much, Talonin. Some beer money. Ooh, okay. Mm, I, I'm very tempted to get a beer. After, after this race, I'll get a beer. And I'll see how that affects my driving. <laughs> That's the end of the session, P2. Alright, P2 in practice by half a tenth of a second. I know there's more pace in it, but is the conditions of the track and the weather going to change by the time we roll over to qualifying? Let's see! Drum roll, please in chat. What have we got? No, it looks like it might even be wetter. Oh, it is! Weather conditions, let me just show this for you. You see that on the top left of the screen? We're in a thunderstorm right now, guys. Track wetness? Soaked. <laughs> oh, two for two on the wet races so far. This is going to be very interesting. Uh, marginally more moist. 
And to go back to your point, Andy Turnbull, as soon as Junior needs to change, stream over. Well, this is actually why I'm doing multiple streams this week. Um, Junior and Mrs. DDF, or should I say, yeah, Mrs. DDF and Mini Finny have um, gone away for the week. Uh, they're visiting... Uh, yeah, they've, they've gone visiting for a week. They've basically... Most of the family's away. Uh, they've joined them, and I'm joining them at the weekend because I can get the time off work. So I'm I'm here. I should probably drive, actually. Qualifying is still ticking. I'm here this week, enjoying bachelor life. I've got the house to myself. What am I doing? I'm playing games and streaming them on YouTube all week. <laughs> Nah, it's great to hang out with you guys. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't be doing anything different. In fact, if I was by myself, Exit looks clear. Got I'd probably stream every day. Oh, big thunderstorm there. Your tires are cold. Watch out. So yeah, to get some heat into these brakes. no changes of nappies or anything until Friday night when I go and get the train up to meet them. Oh wow, this is stunning in VR. This is absolutely stunning, and once again, I've got the track to myself. Rain is at 80% instead of 40% before you can hear it bouncing off the roof of the car. Oh, big puddle. And if this is anything to go by, the race is only going to get even wetter. I doubt it's going to dry out in the space of two hours, which is what the difference is. Now we see this. Wow, look at so much standing water there. This is all based on real weather. This isn't random. This is real weather. I don't think it's current real weather. I think it's, for some reason, it's defaulted to August last year. I'm definitely going to have to adjust my lines here, Mark. i just got to try and remember where the standing water is. I'm only going to get two shots at this, I think. Two minutes left in the session. I'll cross the line. There'll be enough time to do a lap. And that's it. You can hardly see the buildings. Wow. This is so incredibly immersive in VR. We're seeing lots of front right locking. All right, quiet lap time. Let's do this. The leader's just done it. 140.45. What's it going to be? What time's it going to be? Current fastest time is 1 minute 39. It's going to be... 132. 139.2. I'm not quite on the front row. Got one more lap to do it. No, I haven't. No. Oh. <laughs> save it, save it. Oh. Hit the puddle, it just aquaplanes straight off. Never mind. Okay, well, I'm two tenths off pole. The most important thing is I'm actually ahead of. That's the end of the session. B2. Jadson on the grid. 
Okay, so my championship rival, Jetson Rezende, is on fourth in fourth position on the grid. I qualified on the front row. Not quite a pole position. Missed out by just over two tenths of a second, which, to be honest, on that track in those conditions, that's that's not much. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, however, I made a terrible start last time, and I'm probably going to make a terrible start again. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. So this is for the championship. Currently in the lead on 25 points against Jadson, so as long as I finish ahead of Jadson, that's fine. I can extend my points because I get the prize money at the end of the championship for my championship position, not for individual races. So, yeah. Slowest time was a 144.1. So there is a bit of field spread here. But what weather conditions are we going to get for the race? Can I get some drum rolls in chat, please? Can I get some drum rolls in chat and let's see what we're going to have in 3, 2, 1, ba-doom. 10 minutes, P2. Okay, well, you can hear the sound of a... Is that a is that a jet taking off or is that a thunderstorm? I didn't think the airport was being used and the uh, track was being used at the same time. So it's it's overcast. Oh, we've got another one of those situations. So it's not actually raining. It's overcast and the track is wet. So last time it was only partly cloudy. This time it's overcast. And it's not that hot. So, uh, I reckon I'm going to start on wet tyres again. Because it worked last time out, and the track is less likely to dry out more quickly. So I've still got my pit strategy of abort, abort, with my soft tyres, or soft tyres. Could be wind, could be very loud wind, Mark. <laughs> Jimmy the Burr, Slick Life. You guys want me to start on slicks, right? This track is very clearly wet. I mean, it was only two hours ago in session time. So it's only going to dry out so much. Um, fuel, let me just work out the fuel very quickly. It should roughly be the same. So we've got 60 seconds times 10 minutes, 600 seconds, divided by what lap times were we doing? One minute, say 1 minute 40, so that's going to be 100, so we're going to be in 6 laps. Yeah, that 12 litres should do it. 12 litres should do it again. Alright then. Thank you so much for everybody still watching and still tuning in. Hope you're enjoying it. Let's go and do race 2 of the championship. And after this, we'll get a beer. But now let's, let's get um, 10 minutes of Cleveland starting from 2nd on the grid. Okay. Thanks, Marzi. Thanks, Liam. Ten minutes. Here we go. Get ready. Go. Terrible off the line again. Three wide. You're on the left. Car right. Three wide. You're plenty of space at turn one. I could hear a three wide right. there. Three wide. Two right. On your right. Clear right. Yep. Right side. That wasn't great. Rewind. In the middle. Clear right. You're clear. All clear. Gonna be going in hot to that. Had to defend from that guy on the inside. Hold your line. Gonna hold my line. Hold your line. Clear to the right. Just backed out of it behind. I'm just gonna pop the wipers okay. on light. Just clear a bit of that spray. It's so hard to get the uh, power down in these things. And that was important for the championship. That was Jadson I overtook just then. He is my main rival so far. He is who finished second behind me in the first race. Oh, understeered it. Understeered it. Don't spin it. Out to track limits there. Hit the grass. Lost my traction. Jadson's going to get me on the inside here. Still there. No, he's not. Puma power.
Obviously, the track is nowhere near as slippy as it was in race one of the championship. Well, we've got to run here. B3. Car ahead is good on the brakes. They're going to hold it nice and tight. That's good. Let's see if I can get them on exit. <laughs> Box, box on the board. Thanks, Raphael. Clear left. Wow, this Puma just nicely done. Great on the straights. Very good on the straights. Not so good in the corners, but it's a bit of a weapon. Which makes me think that Kansai West isn't going to suit this car so much, because that's literally just all corners. Could be worse, it could be Kansai East, which has got the S's. Now I ran wide here last time, don't do that again. i keep it nice and tight. Don't hit the grass, because it's so hard to recover from that. Side. This car just pulls so much in a straight Keep line. Wow. Massive straight line speed advantage. Well done, good pass. I've got to try and keep it in the corners though. That's where they get me. Is it worth defending it to turn one or is I'm just going to sacrifice the apex here? Uh, I'm just going to run my racing line. It's a second back. It's going to be a hell of a dive if he tries it from there. That was uh, 135.80. Plan D for dry, Liam Murray. Okay, so now the AI has been turned up to 105. Previous race it was on 100. Yeah, Jimmy the Bear, that's a great analogy. This is like a mini Greenwood Corvette. So if it stays like this, it looks like the AI is going to get turned up to 110 for Curitiba in round three. Which is, yeah, like I said, it's not a track that I'm overly familiar with. I think I've done five practice laps there for a video I recorded about AMS2 last year. And even then, I wasn't really aiming for lap times. I was just aiming to get some footage from a replay file. I don't really remember the track that well. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> Unless maybe the AI is not fantastic here at Cleveland. I don't know. We'll see. Formula Otaku it is a really fun track. I was very skeptical about it at first when I drove it, because like, this is too wide, it's too awkward, I mean, what are the racing lines here, but then driving it in the McLaren GT1, it's part of that race, it really forced me to learn it. Oh, that's right, Marzi, pop those wipers off, I don't need them now. But yeah, like we're saying, the McLaren TC1 really forced me to learn this track and learn the lines and how just how much you can really extend those turning zones and braking zones. Yeah, I had the wipers on from the start of the race uh, when I was following other cars because there is still a little bit of spray being kicked up, not much, but there's enough. Now, there's still no drying line on the circuit here. So, it's definitely not dry tyres, that's for sure. There's still puddles, there's still standing water, so the wet tyres are definitely still the right tyres to be on. and all of the track and then some there. It looks like I've got a, a three second advantage on the AI right now. But maybe they're just not tuned right for Cleveland. 
all three sectors are pretty quick. It does seem very slow in comparison to the previous race. Especially considering I've turned them up as well. Yeah, wow. That is one of the things about AI. It is so hard to tune it, because each track is different, each car is different, and each person's skill is different. And they might be suited to different tracks more than others. So to find a way of calibrating it that matches your pace in every race, regardless of what you drive, it's... How do you program something like that? You know, it's... Like Ricardo says, it's very car track dependent. Okay, Dan, you've used half your fuel. Now, obviously, there's something called rubber banding, which is... You know, if you get a hell of an advantage in a race, the AI are suddenly given, like, godlike speed. And they'll catch up to you. And they'll increase throughout the course of the race. So if they see you pulling away, they'll, um... They'll catch up. But if they see you falling behind, the AI will slow down. Now that doesn't really seem like a good solution to me. Because AI should be fixed at a certain level. They shouldn't left, adapt to suit your pace, because then you can just drive your last lap time was at however the hell you want to drive. You know, and you can drive real slow and it's not going to be a problem. There's no pressure, there's no incentive to drive fast because oh, the AI is just going to race me no matter what. So it, it is really good to have some kind of system that matches you. You're in the lead. And I guess that is why a lot of people do online racing in leagues or multiplayer. It's because there's no difficulty slider. You know, when you race against real people, you're racing against the people who are going through the same trials and tribulations that you're going through. They're dealing with the same cars and the same tracks, and the same weather conditions. And there are human limits to how fast you know, you can go sim racing. The fastest lap for Bastos, 132.35. Oh, somebody must have pitted for dries. Your left side tyres are hot. I think somebody's coming to the pits for dries. Fastest lap for Sosa, 132.35. That's five minutes of fuel left. Yeah, I think some, some, some of the area have pitted for dries. Because that 32 pace is quite impressive. 31.8 is actually the fastest lap from the AI. Tires are starting to overheat. The track does... One more lap to go. Stay focused. Your lap time was 134. The track does look pretty dry. Sector 2 is 2.0. Off the pace. Oh, I think I've got like 12, 10 seconds to the guys behind now. I wasn't sure if they come in the pits, but that's just the relative... Oh, and look who's worked their way up to second position, Jadson of Resende. That Jadson, thorn in my side. I thought I was going to get some good points on him today, because he was down in fourth or wherever it was, but he's worked his way back up to second, although it looks like he's having a bit of a fight with Jan Eli. A couple of corners to go. This is the last lap. Bulk Brogan in his rookie season of racing life in Automobilista 2 is going to make it two wins out of two. Almost got one hand on the trophy, but he's going to be, uh, going, to be going to an unknown track next time out. Round three in Curitiba. Relatively little experience on that circuit. His competition is going to be even tougher at 110%. And he's also going to be having a few swigs of beer throughout the race to help. So this championship could get very spicy indeed next time out. But that, my friends, is another win. That felt, I must be honest, that felt very easy. Uh, turning the difficulty up 5%. I didn't expect to win it by 15 seconds after I won it by... 
one or two seconds in the previous one. Stephen Coe makes a very good point. A 15 minute race would have been quite interesting there because the track would have definitely dried out. Although that said, 16th and 15th, who I can see on the relative tracker, they're only doing 1 minute 32s. I was doing 1 minute 34s at the end then, so it's... They're only catching me by like 2 seconds a lap, maybe 3 seconds a lap. And they're like 30 seconds behind, so another 10 laps. Uh, it wouldn't have worked. Maybe an early switch to drives could have worked, but I don't know. Who knows. But interesting to see that the leaders stuck it out, but the backmarkers didn't. Pretty much everybody at the back of the field pitted, put drives on. Whereas all the people who were following didn't. So that's quite interesting from the AI. It's not like they all pitted. It's not like they all pitted. Whereas previously they would. You know, if the weather conditions changed, all of the cars would come into the pits at the same time. That is definitely an area that um, AI has improved in. Oh, anyway, that is the results from race two of this championship. Uh, they're only at the back because... Oh, Andrew, yes. <laughs> of course that's why they're at the back, because they made pit stops. And everyone who didn't make pit stops stayed... Oh, I'm such an idiot, aren't I? <laughs> oh, anyway. Right then, let me put some music on in the background, and let's go and plug these results into racing life. Where are we? There we are. Okay. Right then, so that is race two done. Let's skip the cooldown lap. Let's take it to the results page. Win number two of two. So here we go, racing life. Switch over to here. Let's go to the competitions page. And let's click on advance. So, Copa Classic, stage two of four, Cleveland GP, start. So qualification result was second. Race result was first. Finish that. Okay, I have gained 0.79 fame, and I've got zero sponsor money because I've got no sponsors. So click OK. Now let's have a look. Actually, let's have a look at finances. Do I have any spot? No, I don't have any offers received. Okay, just thought I'd double check that one. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That was a big one. It's really cleared my ears out as well. That. Sorry, God, that probably just deafened you in chat. I can feel like I'm in a mile off. All right then, so competition. So there's not much more I can do in January. Thank you, Formula Otaku. Thanks for hanging out. Good to see you. Um, I'm going to be doing another couple of races today. I've got one at Curitiba and then the season finale at Kansai. But is there anything else? I want to race. Does Copa B class? Ah, Copa B class has another set of races. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? Because I mean, I could, I could lease out a Copa Classic B class car and also do these races in January because it's going to cost me a thousand to register. It's going to cost me a thousand to register and to lease a car. Let's have a look. Let's go back. That's my garage. Let's go to a car dealer. Let's have a look at the Copa B. We got Volks, uh, Chevrolet Chevettes, Puma GTEs. We got Volkswagen Golfs. Oh, this looks fun. There we go. Volkswagen Passats, Puma GTEs, Fiat Unos, Mini Cooper S's. All right, so interesting. Ricardo Pombero, the uh, the developer of the app, is telling me just to stick with the FL Championship to avoid money problems. Because my reason being was right. If I go back to competition, if I can win this championship, I'm going to get twelve and a half thousand. I'm going to cut the lease on the car, and I'm going to progress to the next series. But the entry registration fee. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I think I've just found what my career move is going to be, guys. I think, I've, I think I know what I'm going to do. So, I can finish off the FL Class Championship in February, right? And then I can lease an LMP4 car and use the $12,000 from the win to pay off the registration fee. Oh, oh no, that's not going to work though. That's not going to work because I need 25 driver fame. Ah, never mind. Maybe next year. <laughs> oh, I was, <laughs> I was getting hyped for that. I was looking forward to driving an LMP4. So I think, oh, I can afford the registration, but no, I'm not. So realistically, driver fame is going to be like at two, maybe. So I'm going to be in the Volkswagen Hot Car Cup. Yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing that. Uh, sponsorship. I mean, I could get sponsors knocking on the door if I win a championship. That is true, Andy. But I'm not going to have the fame. I might have the money, but I'm not going to have the fame to drive the P4. Okay, we're thinking too far ahead here, guys. I'm basically trying to plan out my career when I haven't even finished the first races. <laughs> Ricardo's saying I should maybe be at 5 if I win. <laughs> he would know. But even at 5, that doesn't give me enough. However... Oh, this is evil. With 5 reputation, I can join the American Truck Racing Championship. Yes, trucks. At Cleveland! No. Oh, it's... it's... hmm. I've never been really good at driving trucks. Formula V is more my thing. I wanna, I wanna get into the, uh, I wanna get into the single seaters. So maybe I'll do hot cars, because that's only a nine hundred and twenty dollar registration fee. And maybe I can also, at the same time, do the Formula V championship. But I don't want to overcommit if I'm not going to be able to get some prize money back from these series in time. Oh, this is, this is, this is. This is really cool. It's really making me think about what cars and what races I want to do in Automobilista 2. Instead of just firing up a Porsche GT3 at the Nürburgring, at uh, the Nordschleife. So, I love this. This is awesome. I'm really liking this. Okay, Copa Classic FL. So, there's not really anything I want to do in January. Ricardo is basically saying... Ricardo is basically saying, I don't want to join this B-Class Championship because I might run out of money before the end of the FL Championship and I don't want to run out of money and get loans because then that just that's digging my digging me a hole that I'm never going to get out of if I don't start basically earning more money. Uh, yeah, there is a bit of grind in this Kevin. So this is this is pretty pretty cool. Um now see carts is carts is interesting, Andy. But the thing is there's no registration fee there's no driver fame involved. It's a one race championship. And it's, uh, I mean, do you get fame? Do you get popularity from it? I don't know, is it worth doing the karting championship for the fame? Just before I progress over into February. I mean, I, okay, let's, let's rule it out. Copa Uno. I don't really like the sounds of that front wheel drive uh, tissue boxes basically uh, B class uh, Ricardo said no cart club uh, I could get some driver fame which could help me register for more championships in the future but then that that could help out oh I don't know what do you reckon guys We've got a cart race here. Let's have a look at the details of the cart race. Zero money. And it is at Buskerud Long. 15 minute race. It's an it's an eight car to cart race. Should we do it? Should we do a cart race? Before we... Because once we go into February, I can't go back into January again. But let's have a look at the car dealership. I need a GX80. That's 5,000 to buy. Or 500 to lease for the month. So if I want to do this cart race, 
it's going to cost me $500, and I'm not going to get any extra money for it. And also, Ricardo's saying that the AI carts in Automobilista 2 are currently quite broken. Uh, just continue with the FL Championship. Okay, I just don't want to... Mark, you make a very good point, and I'm not saying you're wrong, but I, I just want to make the most out of January before I press that advance button. Uh, okay, those of you who are familiar with Automobilista 2, what are your opinions on the carts? Are they broken? Oh, actually, Stephen Coe, is that a good point? Ricardo, can you confirm that that registration fee... Can you confirm that that registration fee is for the championship or per race? What do you reckon? One time pay only per championship. Okay. Whoa, Stephen Coe, you worried me then for a moment. I was thinking that perhaps the uh, I was I was losing a thousand dollars for each race. Wow. But it's per championship. All right, guys. Um, Mark says continue with FL. Marzi says continue with FL. Copa races FTW. Trilbo says the AI is broken. Ricardo says the AI is broken. Carts. Genma. Sure. Genma Shiranui says the cart AI is broken. So I think the general consensus... I'm sorry, Sticky, I know you said the carts are fun, but I think the general consensus is continue. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick with my promise, I'm going to be right back, I'm going to get that beer, and I'm going to get stuck into race three. So, bear with me one second, guys. I'm not going anywhere, apart from to the kitchen and back with the bottle opener, so catch you in a second. And he's back. Hello, people. That's what we got. Asahi. That's so good. When you drive, never drink. But this is sim racing, and it's literally one beer. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I tell you who got me onto that beer. Was it OzNZ Sim Racing, I think? I think it was. It was the uh, Suzuka eight hour race in ACC when there was a few different teams entered. And um, the team who finished the highest, basically, there was a get together for a crate of beer, and it was Asahi beer. And we happened to finish, I think it was 12th or 13th in that race. Oh, sorry, 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 sticky bowl holder. I want to, I want to point out something incredibly cool, by the way, guys. This is legit Castrol merch sent all the way from New Zealand from Mr. Sticky himself in chat. Now th that's a beer holder. This is also a beer holder because in Australia we do have this problem whereby your beer gets warm very quickly and there's nothing worse than warm beer so this is a nice insulating <laughs> look at that how cute is that come on focus come on focus there we go that's better how how awesome is that that's thank you sticky that is incredibly awesome <laughs> love it and it's on my castrol coaster as well. Anyway, let's get back on with the Automobilista 2, okay? Uh, AMS 2 spec.
sorry for the music clash in the background then. <clears throat> Alright, so we got Automobilist 2 here. So let's go back to Racing Life. And let us go to Advance. So, okay, we're settled. We're not going to do the kart race. We're going to continue with the Copa FL Class Championship. Okay, we're doing that. We're not going to register because Ricardo says more money, more problems. We don't want money problems. We just want to go racing. And we're in the flow. We're enjoying these FL races. I'm really getting to grips with the car, uh, despite the absolutely torrential downpours in both races so far. So let's advance. So I have no more races in January that I'm registered for. So let's click on advance and let's progress to February. All right, there we go. Bulk Brogan is now in his second month of racing. Again, was it Punch a Waterfall that came up with that name? Bulk Brogan? <laughs> I don't know why I like that so much, but I do. So statistics, two races, one pole and two wins so far. I've managed to get my fame up to one. I think it's more like 1.8 or something at the moment. My experience up to two. And I've got $2,865 in the bank. No driver sponsors though. So let's have a look at finances. See if any sponsor offers came through the door. No, no sponsor offers this month. And uh, the bank. Ah, I can now withdraw more money from the bank. So I can withdraw up to $29,900, which uh, could be quite useful, but it's going to be a lot of money to pay back. And that that loan basically relies on results. So I have to drive well to be able to pay that back. So let's switch it back to Automobilist 2, because the competition we've got now, we've got Copa FL Stage 3 and Stage 4. So before we register for any of these races, I reckon we just, yeah, let's just get st stuck stuck into these. So Copa FL, let's have a look at the details. Yep, there's a prize money, just confirmed 12 and a half grand for the win. Um, we've done Adelaide, we've done Cleveland. Curitiba, right. This is not a circuit that I am familiar with at all. So let's have a look at the championship. 25 points again. So now the championship ramps up. I've got 50 points for the win. Uh, 50 points in the lead. Uh, Jadson Rezende in second place is on 36. Hmm, okay. 14 points ahead with two races to go. But like I said, every race that I win in this championship or in racing life, the AI goes up 5%. Every race that I don't win, it goes down a percent. So <laughs> you can see it there. We're going up from 105 to 110. Ayo. And opponent aggression is still on max because you guys love to see me uh, suffer. So uh, that's all there is to it. So let's have a look at the circuit map. Because this is going to be useful for me memorizing the circuit. So long straight, right, left. Chicane, right sweeper, another straight, right sweeper, kink into a slowing left with a tight apex, progressively opens up and then a really fast left right chicane, followed by a nice sweeper at the end, so uh, tight left, chicane, sweeper, straight, slight kink, sweeper, another kink, I had to look, I had to cheat. Start again. Straight. Chicane. Sweeper. Kink. Sweeper. And then it's a tightening left. Which is straight and then opens up. And you've got a fast left and right. And then a sweeper at the end. Yes, got it. Got it, right. Always helps to try and memorize the track before you go into it, or at least learn the track, because like I said, I've never really driven here before. I've done a few laps to get some replay footage. And fingers crossed I'm hoping for some, some dry weather, because both races so far have been wet. Practice and qualifying has been wet. Cleveland was thunderstorm wet. And both races were drying tracks. So let's have a look and see what we're... See what we're dealing with. 
Is it going to be raining? No, we're dry. We got our first ever dry session. Let's make sure we got some dry tires on. Wow, those cars sound meaty. Slicks! Oh, thank you very much, by the way, Ricardo Pombero. Gifted membership for Bucko Versus. Yes, Absolute so legend. <laughs> That's noisy. Holy moly. All right, let's go driving. Let's, let's do our first dry session in this car. Actually, I'm going to refresh my chat because I think it's died in the headset again. Before I start driving again. There we go. There we go, I can see your chat messages again. Alright, so... Right left chicane, right sweeper. And then a little kink. Because we all love a little kink every now and then, right? And we got a right sweeper coming up, followed by an opening right after it. Gonna try a low third gear for this. It looks pretty tight, but I think third gear should be okay. And then it kind of goes to the right, and then it's a decreasing radius left with a tight apex. So don't let that catch you out. There's the hundreds. Run it wide and then cut in tight. Yeah, oh, I need to cut in a bit tighter next time. Opens up on exit slightly, then we got a fast left right here. Third gear for this. And then a really fast ride. Pit entry is quite short. And it's banked as well. Okay, that's nice. I wasn't expecting that. Means I can put the power down nice and early. I think my chat in the headset is broken, by the way, guys. Let me just give that another refresh. I think my chat isn't coming through. Not sure why that is. Slicks! Well, if you're going racing on the other side of the planet... Uh, internet's still working. One, two, three, four. Is that coming through? No, that's not coming through. There it is. It's coming through. Jimmy the Bear, I've got the message in the headset. Sweet. But my own message didn't come through. Anyway, that's working again now. Back on. Very short lap here. Wow, that, that is a very short lap. Should be a few more laps in the 10 minute race today. So where's the markers? Oh yeah, there's 200. There's 100. Race time invalidated, uh, lap time invalidated by race director. Okay, so you can't be cheeky on the curbs through there. Gotta remember that. This car doesn't feel too different in the dry. The leader has just done a 135. To be honest. Feels quite nice. Remember, keep this one tighter than last time. Bleed off more speed. Keep it nice and tight. That's it. At the apex then. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, I think I've got this track. Just not the nuances of it, that's all. I need to learn the specifics. So there's a dip there. The there's a lot of banking that can pull me around. This looks a bit off camber, so I'm going to have to be... I can be faster in the first half of that chicane, but not the second. Use the banking here. This could be good in the race to get a slow and fast out to launch onto the main straight if I'm trying to get past somebody. Remember that. There's a few 
few lines you could use through that corner. It's a fourth. All right, Dan, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Brake just before the 100 and don't use too much, too much of the curb this time. Whoa! That was a bit too late on the brakes then. More like braking at 150. That might be outside track limits. <laughs> you reckon? Okay, so that's good to know. It's a brake more near it's to 150 than 100. Can't change the roll bars. Can't change the brake bias. Can't remember what button it's set to. Oh, thank you, Streamlabs. That's a very good time to pop up and chat. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to get your votes in, guys, whether you think I'm going to bin it or not. It's just done it. 135.25. Sector 2 is 0.5 off the pace. Go Slicks! I am on Slicks, right? Yep, yeah, yeah, I'm on Slicks. Just thought I'd double check. Right. Break a bit earlier this time, Dan. You've only got maybe two laps left in practice. Sector one. Three is laps, maybe? Seconds off the pace. Sector two is 0.5 off the pace. Sector three times okay. Don't use too much curb because that disqualified the lap last time. Nice and easy. Power out. It probably looks like more of a handful than it is, Jimmy the Bow. Sector one time is good. Like, it is sliding around a bit, but I wouldn't say it's like too out of control. There's a big window here where you can slide it and not lose too much time. Like, if this was a GT3, yeah, I'd say it's a massive handful, but there's a lot of give near the limit of grip here in this car. Like, it's not a snapper, it doesn't snap on you, it doesn't, like, kill you suddenly, it kills you softly. <laughs> the leader has just done a 134.89. Okay, I can take even more speed into that first part, but I need to, I need to bleed it off for the second here. The tire temperatures are good. Too early on the throttle in the apex there. You've used half your fuel. What kind of times this gonna be? 134, 8 to beat. Quickest overall. No what? Was at 133, 133 6. 6. But the AI's at 110%, how does that work? And I'm really not comfortable at this track either yet. That doesn't seem right. Two minutes to go for two minutes. Oh, well, it looks like the AI might be going to 115 for the final race. Sector one time's okay. Ah, oh, surely that's not right. That can't be right. It's literally my fourth lap at this circuit. I've got a 1.2 second lead on 110 AI. Maybe the AI being above 100, it starts doing funky things. I think somebody said that in chat earlier. Sector two times quick. The AI being quite high up to start giving it weird tendencies. Okay, Dan. Five minutes. But I thought that was in terms of racing, not in terms of lap times. Let's get the drive out. See, like I've got another half second there. And this is on complete default setup as well, by the way. Sector three times fast.
James Rose, hello, good to see you. Hope you're keeping well. Just doing some Automobilista 2, trying out the new Racing Life Companion app, which is actually... I'm loving this. I'm... This has given... Oh, this has given Automobilista 2 AI racing so much context. It's making me think about career choices, putting me in car track combos that I never would normally be in. Checker flags out, P1. That is a very cool beetle. Tents down on this circuit, on this lap. Oh, it could be that it's just the Puma has got a massive advantage on this track. That is a very good point, Stephen. Our oh, family are keeping well, mate. Family keeping very well. Same to you and yours, sir. Uh, Mark P has a very good suggestion. Maybe leave the session and see if 100% is better. Well, can I change the AI setting between practice and qualifying? Does that work? Does that work? So if I write, if I continue to qualifying... It's, uh... Still clear. So if I exit this session... Just switch it over. All right, if I exit this session and um, if I change the AI to 100, it's not going to get any. Well, it might get slower. But the thing is, right, if I'm pushing the AI beyond the 100, then it could be breaking it. Now, if the AI get faster, then fantastic. If the AI get slower then well i mean i was going to qualify on pole anyway with ai at 110 so 100 you know putting them back to 100 is not going to make a difference if this fixes it sweet if it doesn't fix it i'll pop it back to 110 for the race because that's the rules we're sticking by so ricardo says they'll be slower okay i'm going to do the qualifying session at 100 because I've got a nearly two second advantage at 110 AI. So, I mean, it's pole position's pole position, you know? And if it makes them slower, then I'll just pop it back to 110 for the race. Does that sound fair, guys? It's clear. Push. All right, Dan. We've got four minutes to do the business. Um, the AI maxes out at 120. Jimmy the Bear. Trilbo saying, "Whack it up to 120 because it's probably a car track issue." Okay. Right, if 100 doesn't fix it, if 100 makes the car slower, then I'll pop it up to 120 instead of back to 110. Because I want a challenge, I don't want to just run away with it. I mean, where's the fun in that? I want to have an exciting battle. Or maybe Bulk Brogan is just too much for the Copa FL Championship to handle. Oh, I haven't changed the scene. Sorry! Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you for the shout, mate. Almost forgot to change my OBS back over again. Love your work, sir. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's water by the side of the track. It's... has it rained in between the sessions? I think it's rained in between the sessions, guys. There's an ever so slight sheen on the circuit, and it's very slippy. And there's uh, there's a few puddles on the grass. I mean, dry tires are still the way to go because it's practically a dry circuit. But I think there's a 
as it, it's mildly moist, I believe the, the technical term is. Keep it off the curbs just in case. Yeah, I think there's a bit of moisture on the track, guys. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Particularly through these S's here, look on the grass on the inside of the circuit. Beyond the curbs, right there. Bit of moisture. And just here on the inside as well, yep. It's definitely, definitely been raining in between practice and quali. It's so cool with the weather. Yep, the spray on the windshield there. On your way. We're away. You're in pole. The guy behind has just done a 145.62. Okay, safe to say. safe to say that um, lowering the air has not fixed the issue here. In fact, yep, it has indeed made them a lot slower. It was a three second gap. It's now a 6.1 second gap to the cars behind. And I'm already 1.7 seconds up on this lap as well. So I think it is definitely just a car track combo issue. So I was going to qualify on pole anyway. Even on 110, I had a massive advantage. Oh, this lap's over anyway. Only 14 seconds. You're outside track limits there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pop it back up to 120 for the race. How does that sound, guys? And Omni makes a good point. He says that. Oh, actually, I, I don't I don't know I don't think he's making a fantastic point. He... <laughs> There's that puddle. He says, with my driving skill, I should go to 120. Obviously, Omni's not been watching this channel for too long. Because <laughs> he's, uh, uh... My penchant for bins hasn't really come out that much in this stream so far. And oddly, I think the AI in Ultima Velocity 2 is making me look a lot better than I actually am. Even with that massive mistake, that was still faster. That was still a 38.7. So... Jadson Resende. My nemesis has put it on second position on the grid there. Uh, how do I check if the other Pumas are behind me on the track? I'm clicking them, but it's not coming up. I'll have a look on the grid, actually. Alright, Omni says 120, so... For it to save these results, I'm going to continue to race one. What weather have we got? Minutes. Pole position. Oh, okay. So, look in the top left. We've got clear weather. However, the track is moist. So that water that was around for the qualifying session is still here. Wow, I love the weather in AMS2. That's such a small little detail. Okay, George Senior. Basically says what your experience is in what you're experiencing is mainly down to how overpowered the AI is in the rain. You can definitely turn the AI up for dry running, maybe turn it down by 10% if it rains. Okay, that's good to know as well. So Curatiba race. Let's pop the opponent's skill up to 120. Let's keep the opponent aggression on max. So this is literally as 
as difficult as Ultimo Ballista 2 can currently offer, this is as hard as it gets. Stephen Coe, come on, you can't miss that one. <laughs> come on, Stephen Coe, where are you? What I'm waiting for it was the chat message. Oh, he mustn't be there right now. Oh, that's a shame. Um, Trilbo. Trilbo makes an excellent point, actually. He says it's, uh, it's not okay to win each race. It's always a problem with single-player racing games. The compulsion to win every race kind of ruins it sometimes. Yeah, that is true. I mean, that's something that uh, iRacing does get right, is because the difficulty slider... There he is! There's Stephen Go. <laughs> Cheers to you, sir. The difficulty slider in iRacing goes all the way up to like 120 as well. However, I find myself running at like 70%, 80% most of the time, and that is more than enough for me. There's another 40% on top of that, which is insane. Whereas this is like up at 120. Yeah, somebody had to, Andy. Somebody had to. Okay, so now we're going to run this at 120% AI skill. 10 minute race, starting on a moist track with dry tires, on pole position. Let's see what pace the AI have got. And I think I'm probably going to keep it at 120 if it is dry. The only problem is, George, it doesn't give you the weather until you join the session, so... Hmm. It's tricky. Nine minutes. You're in pole. Okay, so... Slick tyres, 12 litres, 7... Actually, I'm going to put 50... How many, how how many litres does this take? Oh, this takes a lot of fuel. To be honest with you, 15 litres is more than enough. That should cover it. That should be fine. That should be fine. So 10 litres, uh, 15 litres, 10 minutes, starting from pole, that's me. Uh, I'm obviously going to make a terrible start because I've made terrible starts in both races so far. Uh, Jadson Redzende, my championship rival, who is 14 points behind me. I don't know why I keep rolling the R's, and I roll them even more every time I say that name. Uh, is, yeah, starting in second place. Right then. Thank you for watching, guys. If you're enjoying it, don't forget to leave the stream a like. Say hi in chat. I'll keep up with your messages as and when I can on the straights, of which there are a few here at Curitiba. If you like what you see, maybe subscribe, because I've got this race and one more race to do today, but I will be back tomorrow at the same time for part two, because I've got the evening off. I'm going to be doing some more streaming. I may even start the stream earlier so I can get more races in. <laughs> All right, then. Here we go, guys. Race three of the championship. Thank you so much. Ten minutes. Okay, now get ready. Green, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and this happened immediately. I had a hell of a start. Puma pulling its legs big time. Don't I break myself to turn one? Now this is where the car is at its weakest. Seven seconds. Uh, seven. Seven tenths of a second lead. Tavares has got himself up into second place ahead of Jadson. That's exactly what I need for the championship. Good work on the start, mate. This is great. Oh, a bit late into that. Wow. Or what? Or what? Yeah, they're definitely keeping up a little bit better on 120, but I would expect that. Hello, Vushal! Oh, Vushal, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Yeah, I really do enjoy doing streams like this, that it's not like a, a one-off competition race with an online league. It's like a series, like Croft. You know, it's like an ongoing thing. Oh, thank you, George. Hezende. I remember that.
Look how silly fast the Pima is on the straights. Wow. And Raphael in chat says the AI may be tanking up on the fuel. That slows them down a bit. That is true. Should I tank the fuel as well? I think I've been very lucky so far with the races being wet. That's actually brought them more in line. Hey, Dad, welcome to the stream. Big shout out in chat for JDF Doggo. Good to see you. I've actually been editing together the footage of um, you in the rig, Dad. I finally found some time earlier on today to uh, start looking through the uh, recordings that we did when you tried my wheel and pedals for the first time. So I am actually working on that video at the moment. So hopefully that should be out within the next week or so. <laughs> and it's actually taking quite... A oh, still moisture on the inside of the track there. Uh, it's actually st it's taken quite a long time to edit that video because I, I just can't stop rewatching and smiling, you know? It's really, really cool, and there's so many moments that I missed at the time that I'm watching now that's like, that's so cool! So, uh, yeah. Keep an eye out on that for the channel, if that's something you might be interested in, guys. Because for those of you who don't know, because there are quite a few people watching today, and I'm not sure if everybody's here is familiar with me. Any first-time viewers, hello and welcome. Absolutely lovely to have you here. But basically, I'm English. I was born and raised in England. However, I moved to Australia nearly seven years, eight years ago, no, seven years ago now, I think, yeah. A few months ago was the first time that my parents actually came over to visit in Australia due to COVID and all that kind of stuff. They were planning on coming over a lot sooner than that, but um, life got in the way a little bit. And me and Mrs. DDF got married and had a baby, and it was like, well, we've got no excuse now. The travel's open again. We'll be, uh, the we'll be able to see your uh, ASAP. And, of course, my dad tried having a go in the rig. And he absolutely loved it. It was great. Such an awesome experience. Because he normally sim races on a controller back in the UK. And he joins in the Oz and Z races sometimes. We race together, but actually seeing him behind this steering wheel and these pedals with a massive smile on his face, that was awesome. So yeah, five minutes left. Hold your nerve. editing that footage, that video will be out soon. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand today. We are still in the lead here at Curitiba in the Puma FL, the Copa Cup, round three of the championship, won both races so far in pretty treacherous conditions it must be said. Now in a first dry race of the season, trying to extend my lead on Jadson Hezendez, uh, Hezende, who's currently down in fourth, he's dropped another spot. This is working out very well. Now he's down to fifth. So, oh, he's back up to fourth again. I'm keeping an eye on that relative tracker on the bottom right. You can see it on the screen there. Keeping out for the moisture on the inside. The track is still drying. Yeah, it just catches it and gives it a little spin. Excuse me. Need more beer to soothe my throat. Keep it wide because there's moisture on the inside there and now we can floor it and get the power down. It's going to be my best lap of the race so far with three and a half minutes to go. That's the fastest lap of the race. That lap was at 1.33, went 1.8. We've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. George in chat has clearly done the math. He's saying if the race stays as it is, I will be champion after this race. In a four-race championship with one race still to go. 
Looks like a hell of a fight behind. Less than a second covering second down to fifth. I would dearly love to be involved in that fight. But this is literally the AI on the maximum difficulty here in Automobilist 2. Maximum aggression. They can't drive any faster than this. I so wish they could. And that is that is one of the uh That is one of the uh, issues with Automobilist the two. As good as racing life is, it is limited by AMS2. So if the AI in AMS2 is no good, no amount of narrative by racing life can improve that. Thank you for the subscribe, Alex V Racing. Captain or is it Alex VR Acing? Oh, I don't know. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Answers in chat, please. Thank you for the subscribe. Hope you're enjoying what you see. I'll be back again at the same time tomorrow to pick up more of the championship. Part two of Racing Life and Automobilist okay, 2. Got half your fuel left. Well, hopefully the AI can pick up a bit as well. Because now I've extended the lead to two and a half, three seconds. I might have to start bringing in the qualify vote at this rate. Just to even things out a bit. What do you think? Should we do that? Actually, Ricardo was saying it does get better with other car classes. So maybe just a bit of patience. And it'll all come good in the end, guys. When we get into like the GT stuff and the single-seater stuff, the AI will be a bit more of a challenge. That would be nice. A minority fan <laughs> with the vote back. Thank you, Brody. If there was anyone who commanded more respect with a vote back, I can't think of anyone. It's definitely you, Brody. One more lap, your P1, fastest lap. That was uh, 132.88. Jimmy the Burr and Vushal in chat are both suggesting maybe starting from the back next race. I'll make that judgment call in qualifying, whether it's wet or not. But I'll just remind you, the next race is at Suzuka. Suzuka East. Use a lower engine map and add fuel and add weight. Okay. Well, clearly I'm running at 120 now. And it's still not enough, so... Yeah, restrict the engine, tank up the fuel, turn the engine down in terms of the map. But there's also like probably a restrictor in the car setup as well that I can probably BOP myself with. Oh, that was satisfying. That was Olaf's Turt Rally 2.0 Community Championship style. <laughs> and this is the last lap. This is the last lap of race three. Bulk Brogan in his first series. He's going to make it three out of three. The rookie from Brisbane taking on the world. Of course, actually, do you know what? This is an entry level series, right? And in entry level series, sometimes there are standout drivers who just blitz the competition. I'm not saying I'm a standout driver, but I'm just playing out the narrative here, guys. You know, Max Verstappen, when he started out, even as a kid in karting, he was, like, dominant, you know? So maybe this is just part of the story. Maybe this is just part of the backstory, the origin story, you know? Where does DDF race... Sorry, not DDF racer. Where does Bulk Broken come from? What's what's the what's the racing roots basically? <laughs> and it's always the way you get these prodigies in the junior series. You get these prodigies in the junior series, right? 
They think they're all it. They think they're this amazing hotshot driver, you know, big fish in a small pond. They jump up to the next category and they absolutely get their asses kicked. And you know what? I'm allowed to say all this. I can, I can basically be arrogant. I can describe my driving as, you know, big fish in a small pond. I can say that I'm ace in the competition because I'm not DDF racer right now. I'm bulk brogan. <laughs> Uh, so you know, I can get away with saying stuff like that. I wouldn't. I, I'd normally feel awkward saying. <laughs> oh, hey, Sean. Yep, I'm on again. So let's skip the cooldown lap and let us One side, clear left. add these results into ju uh, into just clear race left. into racing life. Let's switch it back to racing life. So that was a pole position and another win. So, we want to go back to competition. I'm going to go to advance. So, Copa Classic FL3. So, we qualified on first. We started in first. We have earned 0 0.69 fame. So, I'm actually earning less fame as I progress in the championship and get more wins. So Okay, so let's do that. So, now my fame's... Nearly, it's probably like 2.9 right now. I've got three experience, three races, three wins, two pole positions. <laughs> Ricochet, time to run out of money like all the other good prodigies and fizzle out of motorsports. Yes. <laughs> That's how it works, isn't it? So many good drivers throughout the Junior Series would never get picked up because they never get themselves a sponsor. Speaking of which, have we have any, any sponsor offers? No. No sponsor offers. Ah, because I'm also getting more famous, I progressively win less fa Ah, so it's like a weighted scale. It's a ratio between your fame versus champ- Ah, that is really clever, Ricardo. That is expertly- exper I like- I really like the way that works. Man, this is- this is so cool. <laughs> I'm- I'm loving this. This is so cool. Right then. So, we got one race left in the championship. We've got Kansai West. Let's have a look at the details. So, I believe if George Senior is right, let me just let me switch it back to AMS2 and let's have a look at the points. So, I got 25 points for the win. Oh, Jadson managed to get himself back up to third again. He managed to get himself back up to third. So, George Senior's calculation was correct. But that's because he was in fourth place. So now... Ah, right. Let's see. 25 points for a win. And he is 24 behind. So basically for Jadson... All right, clear to the right. ...to win the championship in this next round... Actually, basically, for me to lose the championship... I have to basically finish... ...outside the top 10 in a field of 16 cars. For me to lose the championship in Suzuka, I have to finish 11th or lower. And Jadson has to win the cha right. win the race. That's the only way this is going to happen. Right side. Clear right. You're clear. Okay, let's skip that because that's still running on the cooldown lap. Okay, so the only way I can lose this championship now is if I finish 11th or lower in this race at Kansai West. So as you can see, it's not the full Suzuka layout. It's the alternate start. It goes over the crossover. And then instead of going into the final chicane and going through the first sector with the S's, it actually cuts right. So the AI is on 120. The opponent aggression is on max. That's what we ran on that race. I'm going to tank the fuel up. And I'm going to turn the engine down into a lower map because the Puma does have a lot of speed on the straights, just to try and equal it out. Um, and actually, do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to get rid of this vote. I'm going to close this poll. Uh, come on, Streamlabs, are you going to cooperate? Let me put some music on very quickly in the background. Is my music working? Yeah, my music's working. All right, I'm going to close this poll. And I'm going to open up a new poll. 
Let me just refresh that there. Okay, will DDF qualify? That's got 30 minutes. That's wrong. I don't need 30 minutes. Cancel. Yeah, I want to cancel that poll. I want to edit that. To... 15 minutes. Because that's what practice... Uh, no, practice is 10 minutes. Okay, so it's going to be... By the time we get into the session anyway. Let's make it... Right, okay, let's do that. Done. Finished. Will DDF qualify? You've got 13 and a half minutes, basically. Start the poll now. So, now the vote is open. You can decide on whether or not I qualify for the season finale by typing into the chat exclamation mark vote back or exclamation mark vote qual. I think, Jimmy the Bear, you may have um, missed that because the, the vote wasn't open by that point. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the vote backs coming in. Uh, oh, it's not Suzuka, George. It's not Suzuka. It's Kanzai West. Sorry. Oh my god. Raphael, JDF Doggo, Ricochet, Stephen Go, Jimmy the Bear. Ryan Reeves. Uh, uh, Bushel. Oh, I'm starting from the back of this race, aren't I? Why do I? Why do I leave it up to you guys? Why? 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 The chat has spoken. Okay, so <laughs> you, you, you want to make this championship interesting? All right, let's make this championship interesting. We're starting at Suzuka. Ten-minute practice session. It looks like we're going to be starting at the back. I need to finish eleventh. Oh, so I need to I need to finish tenth or higher to se secure the championship. If I finish tenth and get one point, even if Jadson wins the race, he's going to be on equal points. But I'm going to have three wins to his one, so I'm going to win it on uh, countback. Oh, it's a wet track! It's a wet track with heavy clouds. No! <laughs> oh no! All right, let's pause that music anyway. Let's get out on track. Ah! Right. Wet tires. I'm not going to tank it. I'm not going to put the fuel in. I'm just going to go out as is. All right, let's do this. Let's get some practice in. So once again, the rain strikes here. So we're running 120 AI in the wet, starting from the back. Needing to finish 10th or higher in a 16 car grid to win my championship. My first championship in racing life in Automobilista 2. Oh, you, you buggers. <laughs> Can't believe you've. I can believe you've done that. Of course you're going to want me to start from the back. You want to see a spicy race. You don't want to see me just walk away. <laughs> the Latifi layout. I get that joke, George, because obviously you turned right. Bulk Brogan has all the elements stacked against him today. I've got very fond memories of this circuit, by the way. I did... Actually, one of the first ever videos I did on this channel... ...was in R-Factor 2 in the USF 2000 at this exact layout. Racing against the AI. Actually, no, it's not. It was in Project Cars. Project Cars 1. It was in the V8 supercar. That's right. Wow, this is... We're talking like five years ago now. Wow. 
You're locking your front right wheel. Did the opposite inverse Latifi there? Looks like that was outside track limits. Ah, <laughs> good one, Chief. Peter W, thank you for the subscribe. Mucho appreciado, sir. I haven't tried Croft on our Factor 2, George. <clears throat> Sector two uh, for the main reason that I haven't actually got our Factor 2 installed right now. I never reinstalled it after I finished the uh, the VEC. Actually, no, that's a lie. I finished the VEC. I reinstalled it to um, test out the CSL DD and it didn't work properly. Then I got it working again. But then I actually uninstalled it to save some space because I was running out of space on my hard drives. It's a break a lot earlier. A break at 150 for this first corner. How much you got? Two hard drives, and they fill up so quickly. But maybe I need to get a third hard drive. See, that's one of the problems about being a YouTube person, is you've got so many recordings, files just hanging okay, around. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. The leader's just done it, 141.75. This is going really well so far. <laughs> Touched the grass on the right-hand side and round it went. Tires are getting pretty hot as well here. Is Bulk Brogan crumbling under the pressure here at Kanzai? That's a new fastest lap for Pinto, 141.60. Haven't actually got a clean lap in yet. Wow, yep. This is a very, very tricky track conditions right now. You're outside of track limits there. Very tricky track conditions here. Because it's not quite wet, but it's not also not quite dry. It's very greasy, so it's hard to see how much grip you do need. Or you're going to have going into the corners. A bit late there. Obviously, I'm two seconds up on my Delta, but that's because my best lap. I absolutely monstered it around that corner. You need to watch your right side tire temperatures. Sector one's quick. Your brake temperatures are fine. All right, don't spin it then. Done 141.38. Lost a stack of time there. Short shift into second to get the drive out. Uh, it's under steering to the left big time. Heading towards spoon curve. Time is okay. The guy ahead has just done a 142.34. People send some very fast times right now. There's still moisture on the inside there. Got to be careful of that. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. 3.4 seconds up. Okay. Your quickest overall. Wow, okay. Sector three times okay. In the wet on 120 AI. Oh, way too fast, way too fast. 
And I've got a two and a half second advantage. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Right, definitely looks like I'm going to be starting from the back of the race, uh, back of the grid here, guys. The weather could progressively get worse throughout the weekends. We just don't know. This is, of course, based on real weather data. And the session times are two hours apart. Sector 1 is 0.8. Oh, sorry, it's based on historical data from a year ago or so, I think. So, the practice starts at 10 in the morning. Qualifying starts at midday and the race starts at 2, so there's a two-hour gap between sessions. Left side, clear left. So yeah, maximum AI, starting from the back, for the championship, need to finish 10th or higher. Sector 2 time is good. Basically, it's 25 points for a win, 1 point for 10th. It's F1 scoring system, and I have a 24 point advantage heading into this race here. I'm going to try and get one more practice lap in because these lines are all over the place. Oh! You've got half your fuel left. That's different. Are these people on dry tyres? What's going on there? Get absolutely smoked now. Look at the leaderboards. Yeah, they must be on dry tyres, surely. My tyres are getting a bit hot too. Wow! Three and a half seconds that I have just pulled out of nowhere. Sector 1 is 1.3 seconds off the pace. Jagger flags out, P8. This is definitely sliding around a lot more and the temperatures are going up as well. Those rear tyres are up near the hundreds. They're into the hundreds now. It's definitely a dry track that's ready for slicks, but there's still wet patches everywhere. Okay, this is going to be tasty. Let's see if it rains more for qualifying in the race. Although I'm not going to be taking part in qualifying, so we'll see. One second up. I know, Vushal. When the clock hits zero, you can finish your lap in Automobilista 2. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> right. Oh, look at that. Jadson. Jadson. The fastest time in the practice session. A 134.0. Whereas me is 138.1. So slick tyres just got them about eight seconds a lap. Yeah, seven and a half seconds. Look, these are the people down at the bottom who didn't switch. Guys ahead did switch, and there's me and my little all lonely right. island, all in the middle. Hold your line. Clear so, right. let me just double check the vote before I progress the session. We are running at... Let me check the vote. Okay. Yep. Uh, the vote finished on 12 to start from the back and 2 to qualify. So we're definitely... We're definitely going to be uh, starting from the back here. So, will DDF bin it? Let's start a new poll. Actually, it's not letting me do that. Can I complete that? Yeah, there we go. Will DDF bin it? Let's start a new poll. Let's get let's get the true poll back up again. Uh, for some reason, my mic gets pretty quiet when I switch the scene. I think I know why. I think it's because... The video file that I play when I switch has got audio. I've got the audio muted, but it still ducks my microphone. That might be it. Anyway, let, we're not here to discuss audio technicals, but I think you may have just solved the problem that I've been trying to fix for years. I've just had that epiphany then. Right, continue to qualifying. Let's see what we've got in store. What is the track conditions going to be like? Is it raining? It is! <gasps> Oh, people are back on the wet tires. Look at that. Top left. We've got light rain. 
and wet track conditions. My goodness me. The only thing that's appropriate to do is drink a beer. Okay, <clears throat> let's have a look at the monitor. Does this work in VR? Can I do this in VR? What is Bulk Brogan's favourite colour? Oh, I can, I can skip the quality and it will simulate times. Okay, that's good. I don't have to sit here and wait for them to go around. Oh, do you know what? Let me just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a moment here, guys, right? I've earned this moment, right? I'm gonna watch the qualifying session. I'm gonna sit here with my beer on this damp, grassy bank in the middle of uh, in the middle of Kansai, Japan. I'm gonna watch the cars go around because this is one of the things that VR is just awesome for, putting you in that environment. I mean, obviously, I'm like ten feet tall right now. That's not the point. No, this isn't a VB. This is a... Uh, actually, do you know what? This is really appropriate. This is an Asahi. This is an Asahi beer. Here's the first car coming across the line. Oh, that is looking pretty wet down there. Oh, I should have been driving that one. Look at that. That's nice and orange. They're going side by side over the line. Nice little slipstream there. <laughs> oh, this is awesome! Hey! Obviously these cars are coming round to uh, start their flying laps. We've got two and a half minutes left in the session so far. And that's it. I think that's all 15 cars that have gone through. Oh, this is awesome fun. This is just, you know, I'm sat I'm actually sat here in in Kansai right now. I feel like I'm here. I've got the depth perception. I can feel the range up. Ooh. It's pretty cloudy up though. Actually, let's have a look at the weather. So, there's a few clouds rolling away over there. Is there many clouds coming in over the horizon? 2 minutes to go. 2 minutes. It kind of looks clear. It might not rain as heavily for the race if these clouds are anything to go by. Definitely looks a lot darker in the direction the weather is traveling, so I think we might be in for another race situation where we've got a wet track that is going to be drying. Go on, Orange! Okay, so in these wet conditions, these guys are doing 1 minute 43s. I can see that from the, uh, the fastest lap that's been set so far. 143.024, that's the fastest lap. I think in the wet, I was doing 1 minute 41s? <laughs> Bushel track security's on its way. Yeah, true. It's a long way down that. I don't know why it puts me up so high. 38 seconds left to go in the session. Let's have some more beer. Sorry, I'm just having a moment here. This is probably isn't the this isn't entertaining viewing. I'm literally just zoning out live on stream with you guys watching. This must be so boring, just watching me drink beer in VR. <laughs> we are going to go racing very soon, guys. <clears throat> Bulk Brogan is just having his pre-championship winning, hopefully, beverage of choice. <clears throat> just like the way that um, Usain Bolt has his chicken nuggets before he does his 100 meter sprint. And that's the end of the session. You know, every, every every winner's got to have their uh, their ritual, right? 
and the weirder the better. Bob Brogan drinks his beer in his championships. I love the fact I can just chat all this nonsense and just say it's Book Brogan and not DDF Racer. This, uh... Do you know what? As much as Racing Life is an awesome addition to Automobilist 2, it's going to give me a split personality disorder. So, Ricardo, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you very much for that, Ricardo. Okay, so... Daniel Finney, a.k.a. Bulk Brogan. Starting in... That's the end of the session. 16th place. Starting in 16th position on the grid. Needs to finish 10th or higher to win the championship. If I finish 11th or lower and Jadson Hazende finishes in first, then he wins. However, if I finish 11th or lower and Jadson doesn't win the race, then I'm still the champion. So basically, he has to win and I have to finish out the points in 11th or lower. I am starting from the back on maximum AI difficulty in the wet because you guys voted for me to start from the back so thank you very much I hope you guys are enjoying the stream this is the last race I'm gonna do today because it's currently 11 25 p.m. I'm gonna have to go to bed soon because I've got to be up in six hours for a thermalito practice session yay <laughs> all right then here we go continue to race one ten minutes you'll need to get on with this V16 is it dry? I can't tell. My things, my my details have gone off the top. It looks like it's dry. There's no clouds in the sky. I'm going to risk it on dry tires. And if it's still damp on the track, then so be it. Oh, actually, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. it says the top left. Light cloud and moist. So, dry tyres. Dry tyres, dry tyres, dry tyres. Right, yep, yeah, okay. Start from the back! <laughs> Wish me luck and thank you again so much for watching. It's absolutely fantastic to have you here. I'm going to refresh my chat and my headset one more time because it is still playing up a little bit on stream. Hope you guys enjoy. It's never too late to leave the stream a like. Let's do this. Alright. Ten minutes. Get ready. Ten minutes. Not got much time to sort this out. Green, green, green. Oh no! The car wasn't started. Normally the car is automatically started for you. But I had to manually start it then for some reason. This just got interesting. My first dry laps on the circuit as well. Man! <laughs> the challenge just got a little bit more difficult. Genuinely, that was not rigged, guys. I did not do that on purpose. I thought my car was already started. I didn't realize I had to manually start it because I haven't done that. I haven't done that in any of the three previous races, so I don't know why it made me do it then. Thanks for the subscribe, I wonder. Hope you're enjoying the racing. Join us at a pivotal moment of the championship. Oh, I just got a heap of chat messages all at once. Uh, yeah, at least I avoided the turn one. Mess, Kevin. Pure right power. Side. Clear right. Right side. Clear right. I don't know how fast to take 130R because I, uh. Left side. I've never done it in the dry. Still there. Three wide, two left. Clear to the left. That wasn't an intentional dive. I was making the move on, uh. Right. 
Magno Franco behind me. And Sousa up ahead was uh, a little bit slow on the brakes there in that lovely Volkswagen. Kobayashi! No, not quite. On your right. Short shift it into second. Still there. Use the rear-wheel right. drive to get me out. Okay, that's up to 14th. Seven minutes to go in the race. Need to get 10th or higher to guarantee a championship win. Oh, it's wet on the right. No, oh, it's wet. It's wet. I got forced onto a slippy part of the track. Still there. That was so sketchy. Hold your line. Now I'm being railroaded around the outside here. Get the power down through the second part of Spoon. Still in 14th. Just done it. 133.80. Left side. On the grass and then some. Still there. Clear That's a bit left. cheeky, but I've got to be 12. up to 12. Just done it. 133.66. Sector 3. Let's try it in 4th. Yep, just base. about. Break just at the 150. Right side. Through to the right. All tap in the rear then, but it's all good. Right Didn't unsat the car too much. Hold your line. That Volkswagen right. is great in the corners. Not so great on the straight up to 12. On your right. Okay, now it's more like a Kobayashi Still move. There. Keep it steady. Short right. shift onto second to get the drive. Okay, I'm not going to do that move again because it's wet on the inside there. I would need to keep it tight and that gap was going to close, but now I can try the inside. All right. Hold your line. Still there. Clear, clear to the right. They got so much more grip in the corners. Or what? Now I'm getting dived at the inside from a Puma. Still there. Curves might still clear be wet. Oh, got the drive though. That's not good on the gearbox. On your so one. much power on the straight in this car. It really does suffer in the Ten corners. Positions. That's the fastest lap. That lap time was far right. Clear, clear that's nine. Right. This is enough for the championship. Distance. The fuel's okay. But that's clear why it's... Clear one. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Far left. Still there. Hold your line. Clear number left. Halfway through the race, I'm in the position I need to be. There's a hell of a fight up ahead here. What a championship finale this is turning out to be. Remember, all I need to do is finish 10th or higher. Car right. Clear right. Right side. Still there. Clear right. That's nine. Okay, Dan, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. All right. Oh, right. oh, there's not much of a gap there. We get this position. Jan and Ellie up ahead is making it pretty tricky for me. Bit of spray being kicked up on the windshield there. And now I'm going to be on the outside for Spoon. We're left. My weakest corner on the track. The AI always seems to have a bit of grip here. Is it starting to rain? The spray. There's lots of spray then. Or is it just left over from the practice session before? Right side. Look at this pack here. There's nowhere to go. There's absolutely nowhere to go. Hold your line. Three wide. You're in the middle. Ah, three, three wide, wide in 130 yards. Oh, that's not going to work. Clear. Clear all around. The car in front of us is Montero. Far right. Clear right. Three wide. Two right, clear right. <laughs> this is mental. Right side. Up to seventh. Still there. Clear right. Come on down. Good stuff. Keep it coming. We got some people in slow cars in the straight line. Basically blocking the right track side. and holding everybody up. Clear right. Up to 
six. Oh, they're going to hold me tight. They're going to push me onto the wet stuff, but not if I can overtake them first. There we go. Good pass. Now keep pushing. Right side. Clear right. You're clear. On your left. Hold your line. Clear left. Up into fifth. Oh, these two cars are fighting. I'll take that. Thank you very much. That's a podium. E3. Not that was a 133.94. Well done, Dan. Great move. Keep it up. You've used half your fuel. That's not. That's wide. Oh, track limits warning on sportsmanlike conduct. It's my first warning of the championship. Oh, big wiggle then. Is this going to be the last lap? No, there's going to be one more lap after this. Jadson is doing everything in his power to win this championship. He's doing what he needs to do. Oh, no! Dramas, no! No! No, it's all come undone. It's all come undone. <laughs> no. I need to finish 10th or better. Jetson's in the lead. I've been there going into the car ahead. I just braked way too deep. This is going to be have to be the mother of all comebacks on this lap now. All right, Dan, the next car is Tavares. I can't believe I did that. The drama. <laughs> I just went in too hot, tapped the guy in the rear and span it round. One lap to go, five seconds between me and the position I need. Hopefully they fight. Hopefully they fight. I'm going to go quiet now, guys. gonna happen it's gonna be second in the championship unless something happens to Jadson I can't believe that no oh threw it away 24 point lead heading into the final race and I still didn't win believe that still there oh. right. threw it away <laughs> man oh that was so much fun I don't care that I lost <laughs> I don't care that I lost I was just trying too hard to get second. Ran into the back of the AI right here. Lost control. I can't believe that. Tried to save it, couldn't save it. Game over, man! 
Oh, I am not the champion. I am not the champion. Oh, the drinking has got nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, right. Skip cooldown left. View replay. Let's have a look at this. Right. Save replay. Let's get this VR headset off. I was just trying too hard, Frank. That's what I was doing. Just trying too hard. <laughs> So this is the view I'm after. Now one of the annoying things about Automobilista 2 is that you can't skip to a certain lap. You have to basically watch the whole replay. Man, I can't believe that. So sorry about the sound of the hornet's nest in the background. So it was the battle for second. So I'm currently in ninth. Okay, currently in fifth. And it turned into the podium here, that was a nice freebie, and then the battle for second here. All over this dude. There it is, right, let's have a look at this. Let's see what the hell happened here. Way too hot, lost the rear. Biff, round it, <laughs> round it goes. Actually, let me... There we go, this is probably a better view. That is 100% on me. That is all kinds of locked up. Let's have a look from the guy behind. Let's see what he viewed. <laughs> oh, that's comical. That's comical. Dan. Oh, let me move the VR headset down here. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Watch this. Oh, he's trying to fix it. He's trying to go around. He's in the fence. He needs to put it into reverse. And round it goes again. That's that's how you bin it. That's how you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. I, okay, let's have a look at that one more time, shall we? Let me see it from here. Oh, it's changed. Why has it changed on me? Change the camera angles. If I click on trackside again... Oh, is it because it's cycling through like that? Uh, it's not letting me change it, is it? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'll tell you what. Let's watch it in slow motion. And then let's wrap this stream up, shall we? Way too late on the brakes, all kinds of locked up. Bang, round it goes. And that is my championship over. Ah, do you know what? I'm, that replay is saved, that's good. Right, well you know what this means? It means we've got to go and put those results of shame into, into uh, racing life. So let's quit that replay, and let's pop over to Racing Life. So let's see what this does. Yeah, let's see what I got money-wise. So the runners... Oh, that's that's not too bad. The runners-up prize was 11,250 instead of 12,500. So that's not too bad. I mean, runners-up prize... I mean, it would have been nice to have won it. Oh. Sure. <laughs> one, one, one away. Right, so, okay, advance. So, qualification... Oh, this is not going to go good for quali uh, fame either, so I started 16th. It's literally one beer, Vushal. What do we learn from that don't drink and drive? I doubt that's had any effect at all. And it's not even a full beer, I've still got like a quarter left. Okay, so 16 and 1. 
just to confirm that my championship did actually fall apart at the seams. Yes, nice one, mate. Jadson Retende, 25 points. Daniel Finney, Buck Brogan, 0 points. Continue. Oh. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? One point. Lost one point. Lost the championship. <laughs> yes. Nice one, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dad. Wow, channel member for 30 months. That is incredible. That is incredible. Thank you. And Vushal for 25. That is incredible support. That's... Two years of watching me stuff things up like this. Why do you stick around? <laughs> All right, then. So let's continue. 24 point lead heading into the final round. Had to finish 10th or better to secure it. Binned it with two laps to go. Man. Right, so that does confirm I am second in the championship. I was just hoping that maybe, I don't know, Jadson maybe had dropped a second on the final lap or something, I don't know. Uh, championship result two. Let's see what this gets us. Hey! <clears throat> okay, so. Race result fame earned. 0 0.61. Oh, I did. Oh, why did I put one in? Can I go back, Ricardo? Can I change that? I don't know why I put one in. Can I, can I undo that? That's just me being stupid again. It was 15. It was. Is there any way I can undo that? Yes! Nice one, mate! <laughs> Thank you, Sean! 29 months! Hmm. Paying off the stewards. Would it take me long to delete and restart? Can, can I basically re-input that data? Because <clears throat> I know exactly what I did, right? I know exactly what I did. I can re-input that data. I don't know if I'll do it live on stream because that would be really boring for you guys to watch. Um, but I can delete my career and start again and just copy those moves exactly. Or shall I leave it like that? That's... Why did I do that? It's... Okay, so according to the developer, it is a very small difference. Because that race result fame earned me 0.61. Uh, championship fame earned was 4.91, so realistically you're saying that fame would have cost me, what, 0.2 fame in the grand scheme of things? I have to redo the entire stream, George. Uh... I have hit finish, unfortunately. You can't see it. Let's see if I can switch it over to desktop mode here. Though you can see I've got the racing life in the background, Amos, too. Got this little pop-up window here, which doesn't show on the stream. So, race result fame earned. 0 0.61, 4.910, 11.2. Okay, what I might do, guys. Off stream, I might re-input everything so it has the correct details. Okay, so let me switch it back to racing life. Yeah, it's a lie now. It's a lie. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's have a look then. Yeah, it says I've got four wins, and I haven't got four wins. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-input all of that data off stream, guys. I'm not gonna subject you to that because that'll be really boring to watch, and who wants to see that? But I'm gonna redo that career from scratch in the data. <laughs> oh, apparently uh, Ricardo is saying I've got a phone call from my agent. So if I go to finances and go to sponsors. Oh. Okay, I've got some options in terms of sponsors here. Uh, I don't know what these sponsors are. I've got EDP, I've got Rue, and I've got Cheers Irish Pub. <laughs> Ch 
Cheers is an appropriate sponsor. Is a German super... Do I want to be sponsored by a German supermarket? Or do I want to be sponsored by Cheers Irish Pub? I think it'd be appropriate to be sponsored by Cheers the Irish Pub. Let's be honest. Surely I sign with the Irish Pub. Okay, I'm going to redo this after the... Ricardo? Uh, Ricardo, if I redo this from scratch and I put in exactly the same sponsors, uh, exactly the same results, will the sponsors come up the same or are these randomly generated logos and names? So like if I put in this championship again to basically reflect that I finished 15th instead of first, will I still get these? Because I really want to be sponsored by Cheers if I redo this again. might be different okay which well, you know, I'm gonna sponsors Ah, oh, sponsors are always random what do you reckon guys I really want to sign with cheers the Irish pub it'll only take a few minutes to do it live okay I'm gonna redo it I'm gonna redo it Marzi I'm gonna re oh, yeah let's do it again random based on my fame okay so let's go to dashboard Go to Racing Life. Special thanks. Special thanks to Miguel Costa, Gary Wakelin, Hugo Mendez, Nunes. Do the do the do the right thing. So how do I go about going? How do I delete a profile and start again? Uh, do I have to quit Racing Life and restart it? Is that how it works, Ricardo? I have to exit the app and start again. Okay, right, exit the app. I'm going to start again. Uh, racing life. Okay, so new career. Ah, it says a career is already ongoing. Creating a new one will overwrite it. Do you want to continue? What do you reckon, guys? Are we definitely going to re-enter it? Are we definitely going to redo it? Because I do feel really scummy accidentally putting one in at the end then. What do you reckon? Let's 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 redo it. Let's redo it. Okay. Driver name, Bulk Brogan. Sim racer. DLC track config, all owned. AMS2 folder, start racing life. Okay, cool. Uh, we went to the car dealer and we rented out a Puma. There we go. Leasing. Lease the Puma. So now I've got the Puma in the garage. Go to the competition. Copa FL. Register. Boom, registered. Okay. Now we didn't get any finances. We didn't do anything else. So we want to advance so first race qualified in first finished in first that's true isn't it right I'm not going to progress until you guys confirm that that is the case hang on Londrina Has this just randomized the tracks? Oh, the tracks will be different! I didn't realize it was randomized. Tracks are always... Oh, no! Okay, right, okay. It's just numbers, guys. It's just numbers. We can put the same results in, and it's going to give us the same data. It's going to give us the same fame and the same money and the same cars. It's going to... It doesn't matter that these aren't the tracks that I raced on. And it's basically... It's not going to affect... Because I didn't... I don't know... What circuits I was going to race on in the other championships. It's still the same championships. So I still would have made exactly the same decisions on which championships I would have raced. And nothing changes in this respect. It's going to be exactly the same results. So as far as you guys are concerned, I'm just going to put the numbers in. 
and it's going to look exactly the same when we pick it up again tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so the first race was at Adelaide. This is just the throne of lies indeed, Jimmy. Um, so the first race at Adelaide was basically a win and a pole, right? Adelaide was a win and a pole. Yep. Can someone confirm Adelaide was a win on a poll? Adelaide was a win on a poll. Okay. Finish? Yes? Bueller? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize the tracks would randomly regenerate. It was a first and a first, wasn't it? Okay. Cool. Alright, and advance. Oh, Cleveland! That's still the same. That's still the same. I qualified in second. And I remember winning the race result. Okay. That's the same. Qualified second and won. Ah, so they re... <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> uh, So basically, it that's a really cool idea. So every new year, it generates the tracks at random. So that it basically simulates a new year. But if you start a new career, it's technically generating them again. It's not like it's pre-programmed which ones you run through each year. So every championship for everybody who tries this app is going to be different. That's cool. So if you guys go and try out Racing Life for Automobilist 2 and do the Copa FL Classics, you're going to have different races than I'm going to have. Random based on some conditions. That's good. That's good. Okay, so second and first. Uh, right then, so finish. Qualification second. Okay. Yep, that's that 0.79 fame, that's good. Okay. Statistics look good, so let's advance. I didn't do any races other than that. I did a lot of thinking. And then I went straight into Copa FL round 3, which was at Curitiba. And that was a win and a pole. Yes? Yeah, that was a win and a pole. So let's finish that. Boom. Statistics look right. Yep, that looks good. So let's advance. Now don't get this one wrong, this is at Kanzai. Started in 16th, <clears throat> finished in 15th, and the championship result was second. Yeah? Is that right? Okay, this is this is the reason we've redone this. Is is this correct? I think it might be correct, yeah? Confirm. Okay. All right, let's see what this brings us up. <clears throat> okay, so that dropped my fame from 0 0.6 to 0 0.03. So, uh, yeah, I did lose half a point of fame. But I still earned 4.91 championship fame, and I still earned my $11,250 in prize money. So now, the numbers look right. Thank goodness for that. Fingers crossed we get cheers. So we got finances. Apparently the phone is going. We got some sponsors. Who's it going to be? Yeah. Oh, but now they're the worst sponsor. Literally the only requirement to sponsor me is no DNF. <laughs> that's, that's literally the worst deal ever. Like, they'll pay me 500 up front. They'll... Basically, they'll pay me 500 up front. They'll pay me 300 a race. At last of five races. And there's a bonus payment of 150 if I don't DNF. 
That's not a great deal. I mean, I can't. I mean, that's literally 450 per race. Aldi will pay me 1500 up front, but they pay me less per race. However, the duration of the deal is longer, and if I finish in the top 10, I get 375. So top 10 is going to be realistic for most races, apart from Kanzai when you buggers send me to the back of the grid, and then I go and bin it. So realistically, what's that? That's uh, just under 500. Finishing in the top 10 each race. Whereas that is... F actually, no, I actually get more money per race. I actually get more money per race from Cheers for literally not DNFing. However, I get less up front and the deal doesn't last as long. Let's have a look at Blah Blah Car. So, initial payment is $3,000. I only get $75 per race. However, if I finish on the podium, I get $600. Now, if I'm going to be fighting for championships, I, be, I want to I want to finish on the podium most times, right? Hmm. I might get better sponsors after the next series. Don't don't look don't lock into a long contract. Hmm. Genma Shiranui says you can get a better sponsor after that. Ten races. Ten races is a long time. Alright, Sticky, thanks for hanging out, mate. Look after yourself and I'll catch you soon. Alright. Mmm. Marzi says cheers. Alright, can I make a vote real quick? Aldi seems reasonable. Right, I'm gonna see if I can make a vote on Streamlabs real quick, so let's add a poll. Uh, you... I'm going to make it run for two minutes. Use a timer. So I'm going to send chat notifications. Uh, which sponsor? Now, it's not going to show the sponsors properly. Because it's not coming up on the... I've only got two options visible. So option one is... Cheers. Command. Cheers. Next one is Aldi. Vote Aldi. Actually, let me pop this on desktop mode so you guys can see this. There you go, you can see that, right? There's the vote. So then the next vote is for... what was the third one? Where is it? Blah blah. Okay, so literally what you have to do is to type in chat exclamation mark vote cheers exclamation mark vote Aldi or exclamation mark vote blah blah. So I'm going to click done. I'm going to basically view this active poll complete and close. It's not letting me do that, is it? It says the poll is closed. Let me refresh this page nice and quick. Complete. There we go. Okay. You got two minutes, guys. Get your votes in now. And I'm going to keep the votes up on screen. So there you go. Is that working? Oh, it's a bit off the side of the screen. Let me see if I can fix that. I'm bringing racing life up at the top here so you can see. There you go. There's the options. Let's get your votes in for, the <laughs> for your sponsors. You can see how the votes are going, you can see the terms of the agreements up top here. Just get rid of this window, we don't need this. Oh, it's looking... Nobody's voted for Blah Blah so far. I know J JF... JF popped into chat and said Blah Blah. But he didn't put a vote in. Thanks again to Sticky for this absolutely awesome beer holder, by the way. 
I can confirm the beer is now empty, so we're going to get rid of that. A little castrol as well. How cool is that? No one is voting for blah blah. So we got... Is the vote over? Yes, the vote is over. The timer has run out. We have 18 votes in. We have 11 in favor of Aldi and 7 in favor of Cheers. So let me switch it back to Racing Life. And let's go and secure a sponsorship deal with Aldi. So, 7 race deal. $1,500 up... Oh, camera's out of focus. There we go. Thank you, Potato. Uh, $1,500, 165 per race, 7 races, all I have to do is finish in the top 10, and that will get me a $375 bonus. Sign. There we go. Right. Now that looks nice. So, I'm going to wrap the stream up very shortly, but I basically have to, uh... I have to basically pick what I'm going to be doing next time out. I can't just leave you guys hanging. So let's go back to Racing Life. Let's have a look at the competition. We have $15,000 to spend. What can I sign myself up for? Well, I can't go back to January because these races I can't register for. It's blanked out now. So I have to do a race in February. I can't register for Formula 3 because my driver fame is 7. However, you need 20 to register for this one. So that limits me. So basically, just on driver fame alone, I can only register for the Hot Cards Cup. Now, there is a GT5... Excuse me. There is a GT5 winter event, which is no registration fee, no prize money, and no fame. So it's basically anybody can come and drive. There's one race, and it's at Cleveland. It's at Cleveland, and to win it gets no money. However, the competition popularity is 10. So does that mean if I win this race, I get 10 fame? So if I get 10 fame, that's going to push me up to 17, which is still not going to be enough for the American Formula 3 Championship. Oh, that's true. I could get Aldi money. You get sponsorship money even if there's no prize money. So if I if I can win this race, get myself 10 fame, and then register for the Formula Trainer and get 5 fame, I can then register for the American Formula 3 Championship, but I won't have any money left. Ah, no, it's not going to get me 10 fame. It's based on the... Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. So even if I do these events, <clears throat> it's not going to... How much is leasing a GT5 car? Uh, leasing a GT5... Oh, Ginetta, yes. Ginetta GT5. To lease a Ginetta GT5 is $600 a month with a one-time payment of... So it's basically going to cost me $2,000 to, uh... to get into this series. So championships that have five fame, there's none in February. Oh, If I skip ahead to March... I can register in for the... <clears throat> Formula V Championship or the Copa Truck Championship. That's very true, Ricardo. I'm not going to use this car anymore now. I don't need to use the FL uh, Copa car. So if I go to the car dealer... Where's the Puma? Where is the Puma? Show me the Puma! Have I gone past it? It's caught in that weird scroll... Where is it? Oh, it's in garage now. Ah, okay, so once you lease a car, it's not in, ga in the car dealer, it's in the garage. Right. Stop leasing. 
Okay, I don't need that car. Boom. Are you sure I want to stop leasing? Yes. Don't need that car anymore. Let's have a look at the trucks. How much is a truck to lease? Oh, that's expensive. And just like that, the Pima was gone. <laughs> right, so... Oh, look at that. 3,750. With a one-time one payment of... Oh, that's, 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 that's expensive. I mean, it's doable. I'm still going to have enough money. So to lease the car, I'm going to have 6,865 left. But to enter the championship... ...is going to be 7,200. I'm not going to have enough money unless I get a loan from the bank. Unless... ...I can do a GT5 race, or a Formula Trainer race, and get some sponsorship money. How much is a Formula Trainer? That's a thousand dollars to lease a Formula Trainer. How much is it to lease a GT5? Two thousand. How much do I get from sponsorships? Uh, five hundred. If that. If I get... Nah, it's not going to be enough. I'm not going to have enough. So, it's not like I can earn more money by entering into those free races. It'll get me more fame, but I'll actually lose money by the time... Oh. I could do a Formula V one-off race. Where's that? Formula V one-off race is at Monza Junior. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to wrap up the stream now guys, but I'm going to let you have a think about this. I'm going to let you answer this tomorrow because I'm going to come back at roughly the same time tomorrow. I can basically enter the Volkswagen Hot Cups which is going to be at Virginia International Raceway. Spend my money on that. The prize money is only going to be 11,500 or I can wait until March. Sign up for the American Formula V Championship, which is going to be at Guyana, Cleveland, Watkins Glen, Yaocacha Reverse, Yaocacha, and Virginia. For twenty, that's a lot of races for twenty thousand. Or I can take a loan out and do trucks. Oez reckons I should do the trucks, get a loan from the bank, smash it and run away with 90k. The thing is, I I really don't like driving trucks. I, I just have never got the hang of it. So, have a think about that. Come back to me tomorrow, let me know your thoughts, and we'll make a decision on how we're going to progress this championship, because... Yeah, it's ten past midnight here. I'm going to have some dinner, and I'm going to go straight to bed, because I'm up in under five hours for thermal ATO practice session so um yeah we'll see we'll see you guys we'll see but this has been absolutely fantastic i've really enjoyed doing racing life in automobilist 2. thank you so much ricardo for putting this together absolutely love your work this is superb this app has transformed automobilist 2. i can see so many people having such a good time with this it's... it's... it's awesome! I mean... <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm trying to run my driver's career! You know? This is so much more than just running an AI race. Like, literally, not even... Half the stream has been racing. I've literally done four races in a championship. And what a championship that was, missing out in the final round by one point. But I've literally done four races today. And I've been streaming for like, what, four hours? It's like a race an hour and the race is at 10 minutes. The rest of it's just been chatting and hanging around. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking out. Still not too late to le uh, leave the stream a like if you enjoyed it. But yeah, I'm going to head off. Time for some food and time to go straight to bed. 
you guys have been awesome. Ricardo, you've been awesome. Thank you for the zap. Let's come back to this tomorrow. Same time again, stream time. And let's have a look at Racing Life Part 2. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, George Senior has an excellent question. Where can we download it? It's available on Race Department for free. And if you don't want to search for it, there is a link in the video description. So go and check that out as well. All right, I'm really going now. <laughs> See you guys.